the am stream welcome to the Zypher show this friday evening and how are we all doing good to see you all hey it's odd lovely to be here lovely to be here with you all it's, a, it's the day i look forward to the most the stream i look forward to the most what a lovely community awesome stuff how are we all doing guys and girls i hope we're good my god it is hot in my room at the moment it's mu it's a muggy day in the uh, good old nottingham england Ooh, in the am stream house yikes 26, 7 degrees, apparently, my thermometer on the wall. Oof. Anyway, talking of hot stuff tonight, uh, apart from GP, <laughs> uh, we have a brand new Amstrad game here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we have a new Roland game, no less. <laughs> it's Dr. Roland, um, which is kind of um, an unofficial conversion, clone, if you want to call it that. Of Dr. Mario, which was famous on the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Nintendo Game Boy. And it's kind of a tetris -y type game if you've not played it before. I'll try and explain um, later when we, when we fire it up. Um, and if you want to uh, get the game for yourself, exclamation mark DR Roland, Dr. Roland in the chat there. We'll give you a link to the game. We are, yes, you're right, Kev, we have been absolutely spoiled with new games recently. Hang on, so we've had um, Moritz. Oh, that reminds me, actually. Actually, I'll wait and see if Moritz is in the chat, actually. We've had Moritz. We've had Open Tower Defense. We've had Suck Hunt 3D. Wasn't there another game? Uh, I can't remember. I think there was another game. And now we've got Dr. Rowland. So it's an amazing start to the year so far. And it will be interesting to see how it compares to the NES version as well. And also, because it's the year of England that got in the European Championship Finals, the Euros... For a bit of a laugh, we're gonna we're gonna create England versus Italy in CPC soccer tonight. That's just a little bit of a laugh after Dr. Roland. And then for the rest of the stream, I thought I'd just fancy chilling with you guys tonight and chatting and taking your game requests. And uh, hopefully we might find some interesting and uh, unique games tonight as well. So yeah, just a nice relaxed stream tonight, but with uh, a feature and a brand new game. Awesome stuff. Right before we get going. Um, I've taken some feedback and had discussions with the Am Squad on Patreon about like uh, how we do intros and greetings. So I'm going to try and cut them down a little bit. I'm not. I'm trying to get them done as. Not gonna, I'm not going to try and rush through them, but uh, I will spend less time on them. But everyone will still get a greeting. And what we're going to do is, is, is we've got a new thing for stream tonight. Um, we're going to have a countdown timer ready. There it is. So this was a suggestion from the AM score. We're going to see how this works tonight. So I'm going to set a timer for like 15 minutes. No longer chatting at the start here. Okay. So people tuning in will know exactly when game starts and stuff. So there it is. There you go. Intro and greetings. Game starting. Let's start it off now. Will that work? Please work. There you go. We've got a countdown. We've got a countdown. So I have to move on when it hits zero. How about that? There you go. Um, so let's scroll up to the top of the chat there and let's see who's in there first of all. First in tonight at 7.42pm was Chiefy89. Hey Chiefy. Um, he was replied to Alex Oval. Oh, I can't see that message from Alex. Um, so Alex, I hope everything's okay. Chiefy, I hope you're okay as well, my friend. Welcome. Hopefully you're still here. Yeah, actually top tip from Johnny Boy is turn the fan on. I'm going to turn it back on. Unfortunately, when I talk, it pecks up the, the fan noise in the background, but hey, never mind. 
And Mr. Pete Walker, the legend. Peter, how are you doing, my friend? Good evening, Lola. I hope you're all well. I'm doing well, my friend. Thank you for asking, dude. Thank you. Uh, we've got Yellow Belly in the chat there as well. I just saw your Discord DM before going live. Not a chance to reply. Uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, yeah, all good. I'll talk to you. I'll talk to you. Probably I'll message you back later tonight or tomorrow. Thank you, Yellow Belly. Welcome, welcome. We have the Saboteur who sneaks in scores to England. Sneaks out. I wish, mate. I wish. Hope you do that on Sunday for us, dude. Um... Yellow Belly's crazy busy at work. Uh, we'll pop in later when we finish. Got you, Yellow Belly. No worries, my friend. Um, we have the Gaming Hamster in the chat as well. So hello, everyone. Bedding and water sorting ready for the tsunami of games. Awesome, Gaming Hamster. Nice to see you, man. Well, sorry. Or Hamster. Welcome, welcome. Voxel Tower. Hey! Voxel Tower, of course, are the coders of CPC Soccer, which we'll be playing a little bit of tonight. Uh, welcome, Voxel Tower. Good, evening, good night, my friends. My team Spain has been eliminated from the Euro Cup. Oh, no. No, no. But he says, good luck to England the final and enjoy the game very much. Oh, thank you, Boxall Tower. And I was wondering, did you um, get any progress on what I talked to you about on uh, Twitter at all? Um, let me know. Uh, we've got 80s Retro Gamer here. Good evening, 80s Retro Gamer. Hope all is well with you. Welcome, welcome. We have the lovely Brian Hooper as well. Good evening, Brian. Nice to see you as always, my friend. Ahoy, Johnny boy. On the um, Tesco Value Vodka or the Tesco Standard one tonight, Johnny Boy. Do let me know. Welcome. Looking forward to your top tips. Uh, so Nick of Tech as well. You're in here early as well. Nice. Welcome, Nick. How you doing, mate? Yeah, we could do lo loading the stream from a 6128. What about Jeeps 4000 with a car? Instant loading. There you go. Perhaps I should do that. Welcome, Nick. Uh, we have Manuel Schultz here. Hey, Manuel. Good to see you, my friends. Welcome. Are you watching outside again around a campfire with the missus or are you just chilling inside tonight? Welcome, Manuel. Edward Berger, the coder of Open Tower Defense, which was another new game we featured a couple of weeks, a few weeks back, is here. Welcome, Edward. Good evening. Uh, we have Oxo Good here as well. Welcome, Oxo. He raises a pint of beer to me, apparently. I'll raise a can of apple juice to you too, sir. Uh, we have Mrs. Zypho in the chat. The lovely and wonderful Kate White there. Very, very supportive and lovely missus. Lots of love to Mrs. Zypho in the chat, please. Uh, we have Anthony Reed here. Welcome back, Anthony. Good to see you again, my friend. Welcome. And I hope you've been keeping well. Same to you, Robin Hook. Retro Games Wiz. He says, hey, Abs fans. Welcome, Robin. Again, I hope you've been keeping okay, sir. Nish from the excellent CPC Game Reviews website is here. As CPC Game Reviews, of course. Welcome, Nish, my friend. Good to see you again, dude. Welcome, welcome. Um... Be interested to see if you're still here for the game request and see what unique and weird game you can request tonight. I'll be interested to see what that is. The Dreamly Impars of Vlogs as well. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And looking forward to another great answer stream. I hope it will be. I'm sure it will. Welcome, Dreamly Welcome, welcome. Um, scrolling down. Kev How! Welcome, welcome, welcome. It was it is a tape load. That's why I like that's why I like the flashy borders and stuff on the intro and all that. Yeah, welcome, Kev. How you doing, my friend? Um, yes, um, Anthony, we ha we did do an interview with Roland Perry last year. It wasn't done live. It was recorded and played live on the Amstream. It was the 100th Amstream, which was around about uh, exactly a year ago, I think. Somewhere around there. Uh, if not, there's a video on my channel as well where it's just the interview, if you if, if you want to find that. So there's two videos. Search or Just search Roland Perry on my channel and you'll find it. Um... Be nice to have him back again, and I wish we could get Lord Sugar in interview. That would be amazing. Darren T. Connor, how you doing, Darren? And how's the painting going, as always? Welcome, my friends. Good to see you, dude. Good to see you. Um, oh, another flop. This is the riser. So I might, I might surprise you. It's when I feel like it. But I wasn't a flop. It was a leap like a graceful panther into my chair. That's how I entered. Uh, <laughs> GP, naughty naughty GP, how you doing sir? Welcome as always, nice to have you here, welcome. And um, we have the Stiggy 2010, how you doing Stiggy? Welcome to the Amstream. I, I think I've seen you here before. Uh, if it's your first time here in the chat though, do let us know and we'll give you a nice big extra welcome and greeting. But welcome Stiggy, nice to see you here tonight, hope you have a nice time. Uh, ooh. Uh, my chat window just re-scrolled itself. 
Um, where else we? Let's scroll down. Amma Smythe as well. Good evening, Amma Smythe. Hey, how are you doing, dude? Uh, hi guys, can't stop. Have a good stream. No worries, Amma Smythe. Thanks for thanks for popping in anyway, dude. And uh, yeah, have a good evening, whatever you're doing, mate. Hey, Celtic Wanderer or Celtic Wanderer, how you doing? Tips, peak of baseball cap and nods. There you go. How do you all, how does uh, and how are you and how's the family? Humid here in Tomb of Wolverhampton, but still as always looking forward to the stream. Hey, the family's good, my friend. I think Minzai though is still tearing around his room upstairs at the moment, so I might have a cross Mrs. Life over in the chat in a bit, but uh, <laughs> but bloody hell is it warm in here. Oh, it's gone up another temperature. Thank you, Mrs. Life. She says thumbs up. I won't repeat the last word there. Give him a like. Yeah, guys, if you can give us a like and a thumbs up on the stream, I'd very, very much appreciate it, especially early on, because the Google algorithms then suggest the stream to more and more people this evening that would normally tune in or whatever. It all helps, all helps. James Ford from the CPC fanzine. Hey, how you doing, James? Nice to see you back here, my friend. How's work going on? Is it issue three or four? I can't remember now which one you're up to. But um, yeah, excellent. Get the CPC fanzine, everyone, from his website. Well, well worth it. Gangrel, welcome. Oh, excuse me. I don't mean to burp at you there. Gangrel, welcome, my friends. I hope all is well with you, dude. And thanks for all the hosties on Twitch and all that. Thank you, Gangrel. Welcome. FC Denhog's in the chat. Good evening, FC. Welcome, my friends. Welcome, welcome. Hope all is good with you, sir. And we've got a Jimmy Taylor here. Hey, Jimmy. How you doing, Jimmy? And a hello to Janie as well. She's there watching with you. Uh, what are you up to this evening, Jimmy? You've got a nice cold beer on the go. Um, oh, actually, we're not doing too bad with seven minutes left, actually. I'm nearly caught up with everyone. Um, our band says, yes, indeed, Zoe, my beautiful wife, and I are sitting at our little campfire and enjoying the show. That's amazing. I'm very, very honoured to be what's being played at your with your missus at your campfire, Manuel. So, hello, Mrs. Schultz. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, Maud, good evening as well, Mr. Maud. How are you doing, mate? Welcome. Nice to see the board here, as always. You always put a smile on my face, dude. Um, oh, yeah. You know what? I'm nearly caught up. I'm, I'm, I'm towards the bottom of the chat now. Bloody hell. Um, Don Bacacero, good evening, Don. Again, nice to see you here. And yes, yeah, very, very welcome back as well, dude. To the both of you, welcome, Don and Yasiek. How are you guys doing? Um, anything new? Right, just scrolling through. Nova Bog is here tonight. Welcome, Nova Bog. How you doing, my friend? And I take it you'll be streaming tomorrow evening. Um, 10, 10 30. What's the, what's, the, what's the time tomorrow? Do you start? Probably 10. Please let us know in the chat. And he's in lurk mode tonight, so be careful what you say. <laughs> he's watching. <laughs> welcome, mate. Welcome. Um, we also have. Let's have a look. Um, so, oh dear. Uh, Kate, Mrs. Ife says, Baby's eye has been a pest climbing on furniture. He's free. Oh, God. There's going to be a crash and a bang I'm going to hear from upstairs and a few tears, probably. Ooh, I hope not. I hope not. All right. Keep an eye on him. Right. Retro or busts. Rob DeLorean. How are you doing, mate? And have you had your DeLorean out this summer yet, mate? <laughs> Welcome, dude. Ow. I thought it was good with you. Bloody hell, I'm at the bottom of the chat. I'm done. Simmy, good evening, Mr. Simmy. Baseline, how are you doing, Simmy? Well, um, yeah, there you go. Um, I have caught, I have done the greetings, and it's only 9.25. I think that's a win. There we go. And, and everyone's had a nice hello and stuff. So if I've missed anyone in the chat there, please say hello again. Sorry if I scroll past you. There's a lot of chat there. But um, welcome, everybody. And I think it's time to start our first game tonight. And we can turn off the countdown timer. Fantastic. Okay. Right. So let's get Dr. Mario um, fired up. All right. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, Dr. Roland. Dr. Ro let's get Dr. Roland fired up. Here we go. Right, um, let me just find the right folder here. Oh yeah, I have to run a different file. There we go, there we, go. we want loader. Mr. Zen Zero, good evening my friends as well. Welcome, welcome, house tricks. Simi, it's good to see you. Oh. 
you know what? I'll start up again because we missed the start there of, of the music. So I'll do that again. Um, it's got a flat. No! Oh, it should be easy to sort there. Just pulled out there. Nice loading screen there. Very nicely done. Dr. Roland is in the house. There we go. And he's, he's killing those nasty viruses. Dr. Roland is ready. Press N key to continue. There we go. Any predictions for Sunday? Well, we're going to play it out in CPC Soccer after Dr. Roland. And we'll see how it goes there. Maybe we'll use that as a prediction. <laughs> What's everyone drinking this evening? Uh, as always, unfortunately, I'm on the Corsten's Press Cloudy Apple. There you go. I'm not shit. Uh, I'm not shitting for them. It's the only thing I can pretty much drink that doesn't have um, sh sugar um, and aspartame or sucralose in. So. We're about to find out, FC Den Haag. Um, it's gonna it's gonna be absolutely nerve wracking, Simmy. And currently, in my family, we're all arguing over which house we go to to watch the match in. <laughs> Everyone wants to be involved now. Uh, Alex, looking on a milkshake. Hey, Alex, how you doing, Alex? Welcome. Um, Sim, Simmy's drinking Haverwood Amber Ale, Lidl's own brand Fires. <laughs> is it actually nice? It's actually nice. Oh, Magnus Robin Hook. I would love, like, a nice cold cider, actually. I mean, let's go to the penalties. I'll be necking the bottle knees. <laughs> Again, is that the Tesco Value Vodka, Johnny? Oxo, Lager Shandy made with 7 all. What, do they, what does everyone think to Oxo Goods concoction there? <gasps> Sorry, guys. I'm getting hiccups because I have to wolf my breakfast down really quickly when I wake up. I have an hour to get everything done in time. Uh, busy Pink Vimto. Oh, you know I love that Vimto. It's got too much sucralose in there. I, we think it was a trigger for my migraines, so I can't drink it. Um, you know, that's not a bad idea, says Peak. Beat. Sorry. Lager Shandy 7 or. I don't know about that. Because that's lemon and lime, isn't it? 7 up. I suppose lime might go with a particular lager. But, mm. Anyway. Brian's on the Grosh. Good stuff. You're on the lagers here. Gonna have some bodies later. Good man, Jimmy. Good man. And Timmy loves a Turbo Shandy. Special brew and spurn off ice. Whoa! It's lethal. Jesus. I take my shandy very seriously, so it has to be a branded lemonade. There we go. Right, okay. So, um, who here is not familiar with Dr. Mario? The game this is based on. Hands up in the chat, and I will try and explain things. It, it, it should be fairly self-explanatory. GP's on the toilet, Doc. It reminds me of Father Jack in Red Dwarf. It's not in uh, Father Ted. Not Red Dwarf. What am I on, my, what am I on about? Hang on. Father Jack. Is there a gift for this? Yeah. I think, yes, actually, this this will be GP. <laughs> GP, is this you? Why is that, why did your account miss him? There we go, actually we'll take that off there. There you go, G is that GP? I think so, ladies and gentlemen. We'll find out. <laughs> um, oh yes, we've also put a link in the chat as well for Dr. Roland. So if you want to download it yourself, uh, exclamation mark, Dr. Roland, all one word. Oh, I spelled it wrong, all one word. There you go. And it will take you to this page. There you go. Right, it says here, the patient is, su is suffering a terrible virus infection, and your role as Dr. Roland is to get rid of those ugly, funky viruses, throwing them coloured vitamin capsules. If four elements of the same colour get together, all of them will disappear, and you will be one step closer to cure the infection. Dr. Roland is a Tetris-like game that you can enjoy alone with your amateur CPC, or in a fun battle with a friend side by side. So yes, there is a two-player head-to-head on this. You will see it from this little screenshot there. Might actually be good for me and Mrs. Zypo to play against each other on stream one day. What do you reckon, babe? 
and there you go. And you can got the, all the download links there. Tape, disc, snapshot file, manual to download, or all, all in one place on itch.io website there. And it was made by a guy. Uh, uh, sorry, it was made by a guy called John Lobo. So I don't know if John Lobo is in the chat tonight, but otherwise, welcome if he is. Looking forward to checking it out. There we go. Is this the original music? I don't know if this is the Dr. Mario music. Does any, has anyone who has played Dr. Mario will, uh, remember? We'll have to ask Man Shovel when he comes in because he knows uh, he knows this guy, uh, Dr. Mario very, very, very well. Right, well, let's start a single mode off. Yep, he has a tape file too. Those who want to transfer it to a real cassette and load it up on a 464. So, yes, this will work in 64K of memory and a normal 464. Right, let's give it a try. Start at level zero. And hopefully you'll be able to pick it up and understand what's happening. Oh, different tune here. Level zero, first contact. So actually while we're here, you'll see there's in that in the bottom there, it's got two yellow things and two red things. They're the viruses. That's what you've got to get rid of in the game. Warzord, good evening, dude. He says, not quite the Dr. Mario music. Okay, so it's been, has it been sort of slightly changed from it? Or not at all like it? Hang on one second. Ooh. Sorry, just sort something out there. Hey, Gun uh, Blade Lad 77 welcome to the Amstream. Because I think this is the first time I've ever caught someone streaming a CPC. Really? Awesome. Well, first of all, can everyone tag Gunblade Lad 77 and give him a big and stream hello and welcome. I'll start it off there. Uh, Gunblade, we um, stream Amstrad every Friday at 9 p.m. on Z Channel here. So um, you know exactly where, where an Amstrad stream will be at every time. Uh, we also, I also do some Twitch streams as well in the week on my Twitch channel. We probably do Amstrad every other Monday on the uh, Twitch, so there you go. Oh, you've got a few videos uh, after they've been aired, though. All oh, right, so you've already, like, subscribed and all that kind of stuff. But, hey, it's your first time here in the chat, so welcome, Gunblade, lad. I hope you have a nice time here tonight. And uh, you may have the honour of the first game request later on, if you're still, if you're still watching. <laughs> that late or whatever. May Hayes, good, good evening, dude, as well. Uh, the best version of this is Dr. Tommy Arcade by Playmark, because it has naked ladies. How does that work with viruses and all that then? I don't know. This is Zyphos up for a co-stream playing on this. Awesome. Right, let's go. So you're going to kill these viruses. So you want to get... So if we go for this yellow one, we want to get the yellow bit of the pill on it there. And you can rotate around like that. So you want to perhaps get the red there like that. We'll put another one there. We don't need these blues there. Four in a row, we'll clear them off. There you go. Four in a row there. Oh, oh, that's handy. Watch this. Oh, actually, so that red... Hang on. So that, there's a good thing to do here. So you've got some strategies. So this, when this one drops down on top of there, that will make four in a row. That will disappear. But the yellow one will then drop down to the bottom, making a three here. So then we've just got to get a yellow on either side. So you have to think like that. Think, plan ahead a little bit. I probably will be really trash at this. We just need a, we just need a yellow one. So fire button to rotate, left, right, up and down. You can press well, no up button, but down to make it come down quicker. And there you go, level zero cleared. And I guess you get a bonus score for how quickly you did it. There, there, there is a timer counting. I don't know if you get timed out at any point, but the game will start getting progressively faster the more pills have been thrown. So. I don't know when it when it starts getting faster, but let's say for example after twenty pills has been thrown that it will speed up and then it will speed up again on forty. I don't know what the number it is, but that's how it kind of works. It's not how high or how full the jar is; it's how many pills have been thrown. That's how it gets. That's how it speeds up. Um, right. And Dreamy, good evening, Dreamy. Hey, how you doing, Dreamy? Nice to see you. I hope you're keeping well. And uh, this is a sort of game I think you might like as well, actually, Dreamy, tonight. This is a brand new Amstrad game, Dreamy. 
Um, oh, thank you for following me on Twitch, Gunblade Lad. But I haven't caught you there. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the CPC, Sally. I can't stick about long. I'll work it for him. Hey, no worries, Gunblade Lad. No worries at all. You tune in and out whenever you want. It's all good. Tip, Pete's tips are terrible. So I'm like, Pete Walker, tip request bridges. Shut up, Pete Walker. Peter, I'm going to call you by your full name because you're in trouble. No, Bridget. No. Um, and actually, Johnny Boy, I'm actually a useful tip there. There you go. Um, how, how, what, what do you think of this so far, guys? It looks really nicely presented. It worked, I love, like, do, the little Dr. Roland character there. He literally throws the pill into the jar for you. Um, it's nice, blinky plonky music. It suits the game well. Um, yeah, hey, Vocal, Mr. Al Runyard. Welcome as well. <laughs> how you doing, my fellow Al? Good to see you, my friend. Welcome, welcome. But yeah, it's looking good, this. I'm liking this. Oh, yellow one. Right, okay. Uh, red. So, let's do that there. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, blue and red. There. This may not be the best strategy. Oh no, I've screwed up, haven't I? <sighs> right, let's get rid of these here. Right, I've got rid of one virus. Let's get rid of the red one here then and worry about that over there. Let's get rid of these out of the way. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that. Oh, 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 we can just sneak that in here. Oh, oh no, I dropped, I didn't want to do that there. My one is like a double red sneak under those red ones. That would be... That would be great. Oh, no. What am I doing? No! Arse. Alright, I'll start building this up here then. Oh, that, that won't kill them, will it? I, I, I've, I've really, I think I've really muffed this up, guys. Sorry. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, I can't get this under there, can I? Oh! Okay. Okay. No! <laughs> oh no, I was so close there. So I think I'll start this level again. I've, I've, I've really mucked it up. So it's really, oh, it's really easy to make a mistake. God damn it. <laughs> hey, Man Shovel. Good evening, Man Shovel. How are you doing, sir? Um, quick question for you, Man Shovel. Is, is this anything like the Dr. Mario music? Apparently it's been slightly changed from it. Welcome, Man Shovel, again. Uh, Main Lane's records, it looks like an accurate conversion so far. <laughs> oh, I got called Alfred. That isn't actually my full name, but good try. Good try, Peter. <laughs> um... I know, face palm dreamy. I'm not very good at that. I've never really played Dr. Mario before. I, I've seen it. I've seen other people play it, but I'm not experienced with it. So, um... Uh, GP's been struggling on Tilt Slam. Oh, and the Answering Marquee Challenge. Gotcha, dude. Gotcha. Oh, you don't want to look. I'm sorry, dreamy. I'm sorry. But we can skip levels. So, if you've already completed the level, you can skip forward to that level and, and run it back from there. So... Such a bitter pill to swallow defeat is. One thing there, never mind. 
<laughs> Streak of fail. Never mind, we're moving on. Right from level one. Okay, let's try this then again. <sighs> well, that's good. Uh, oh. Get rid of the underneath -y ones is good. No! Oh, oh! One thing is, I will say, the controls are really sensitive. Uh, so it's easy to make a mistake. So I'm playing on keyboard tonight for more precision. Uh, okay, let's kill that thing there. Let's get that out of the way. There's a red one uh, we need to kill. Damn, that's two double reds there in a row. That could have been quite useful. A red and a yellow. Alright, you go down there. Let's kill this one. Right. Let's get rid of this one then. Let's start work let's start work on that one there. Right, well what we'll do is we'll put this one. Oh god! Oh, it's so sensitive, guys, the controls. It, it perhaps needs a little bit of tweaking. But we got it. We got that one there in the end. Uh, okay. Maybe it was better to start from the top and work our way down. I don't know. Take it out one by one there. So we just need a, a blue. There we go. I don't know if this is the right tactic to use, but hey, it'll do. Haha! We've got one more to go. We just need some blues. One more blue one, that's all we need. Here it comes. Oh! There's a yellow one at the bottom! Oh, cack. Uh, oh no, I thought I'd done it. I'd missed one at the bottom. Right at the very bottom there, guys. to do is get rid of that red one there. Right, we just need the yellow there. Oh my god, I was panicking there. There we go. I'd missed that one right at the bottom middle. Oh! This is not good for my anxiety, guys. <laughs> we eventually got there. We got there. I know, Darren, he says two in the chat, the yellow at the bottom. Unless I pause and look at the chat, uh, I can't really read the chat, so I must pause more often. I must pause more often. Right, let's catch up the chat there. Um, how can you be dead if you're playing as the doctor? The patient is dead. You're the doctor curing the patient. That's the idea, I guess. <laughs> uh, that is true. So I might have to simulate the final rate of the Amstream subbing in for England. I know, I know. We'll see what happens. Um, but welcome Alex, oh, sorry I didn't say hello to you properly Alex, how you doing Alex, good to see you again matey, welcome welcome. Uh, Dream is more familiar and good at po a Poyo game like Dr. Robotic Mean Bean Machine. That'd be a cool game to convert next to Amstrad, maybe I'll suggest that to the coder. I went to a Gino Worries, there's a first terrific suffer, thank you Dreamy, thank you. Um, thank you Johnny Boy for the top tip there. Try and avoid getting you are dead message. Thank you, Johnny Boy. Right. Um, I could build and never blames his tools for crap workload. Okay. 
I will have a slight, uh, it is a slight criticism. The controls are really sensitive, so I'm, I'm like lightly tapping on the keys every time I move. Especially when you want to do those awkward, like I need to drop it into a tight space and rotate it quickly. It's a bit hard to pull off. I think it just needs like a, a tiny little delay on the control. Just a tiny, tiny smidge and it'd be perfect. Yeah. Top tip, pay attention, exactly, yeah. I need to pay attention to you guys as well. Hey, Mad Commodore, hello dude. Good to see you again, mate. Welcome, welcome. How are you going? How's it going, my friend? Uh, and also Richard W, welcome to the stream as well. He says, this music would drive me and send me around the bend. Okay, I better move on then and start playing. Oh, it doesn't change, does it? Okay, I'll give you guys, uh, give your eardrums a little break from that, just for a sec. Um, hey, Technic, uh, it says, this looks good, a nice spin on the old Tetris formula. Well, it, I think it's a pretty accurate port of Dr. Mario. So, if you've not, I, I take it you've not seen Dr. Mario on the uh, Nintendo NES and Game Boy. But, um, but it's, I think it's very, very close to from what I remember. Uh, actually, Daniel says, impressive game. It plays just like Dr. Mario. Cool. Good to hear it because it's years since I've even played or touched Dr. Mario and I only touched it very briefly. So um, if someone knows Dr. Mario well and says his compares well, I'll trust him on that. Dr. Rowland looks like a character from Viz. He does a bit, actually. He does a bit. Uh... I can, can you imagine Amsoft releasing this? They should do box art for this, but with the Amsoft um, artwork and logo. Damn it, I should have done that tonight for the thumbnail. That's a boss idea. Never mind, never mind. Hey, Polter, Rogel, good evening. Welcome, Polter. How's it going, my friend? And uh, Manchester says it looks just like Dr. Mario. Is it, is it playing like it should do? Um... Oh, was Paul asking the question there? I might have missed that. Sorry. Uh, never mind. Okay. Um, one game, uh, Gunblade Lance says, one game I really did uh, like that never seemed to get any popularity was a PD game called Logistic. Came across a curse of an Amstrad action cover tape. I remember that. I have the Amstrad action cover tape, and I remember playing that for a bit. Hey, if you're still around when we get to game request, Gunblade Lad, um, request that. We'll, we'll fire that up. I'd like to actually check that out, actually. Um, this, uh, this looks damn close, but the original music of Dr. Mario is incredible. Now, oh yeah, I should point out, guys, as well. Dr. Roland was going to be entered into the uh, CPC Retro Dev competition last year. And I actually played it then because I, the, I was a judge on the panel. But they had to pull the game from it because they thought, they thought like... Is Nintendo going to sue us? They might come after the university, so they didn't want to take the risk. So this had to be pulled out of um, the CPC Retro Dev competition. But if it was in there, I reckon this could have been top three, maybe top four. What do you reckon? I don't know. But anyway, he's gone back. And he's, I think he's tweaked the music. They also said the music was very similar to Dr. Mario. I do have the original version. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to boot it up and play it, so perhaps I best not. But um, yeah. Yeah, I think this has original Dr. Mario music and done on the Amstrad's AY chip anyway. Uh, but I think I think he's tweaked it since and did new music. Uh, you have the Game Boy version, says Gunblade. It says, pretty faithful to Dr. Mario. Awesome. Uh, Brian says, I played Dr. Mario a couple months ago and this is a spot on port. Nice, cool. Um, good, to, good to hear, good to hear. Uh, Gunblade lets us just avoid Zion apps, the title screen. Needs an epilepsy warning. Funny enough, Gunplay Lad, we discovered that that title screen on Zynaps is actually a bug. It's not actually supposed to be like that, like a, a, an entire screen, those rasters flashing on Zynaps. Those flashy colours were meant to be inside the Zynaps logo and the logo just flashing away. But I think they saw it was like kind of cool effect, so they kept it as it is and didn't fix the bug and shipped it on purpose. Um, so later on, there's actually someone's actually fixed that bug. And now the flashing colours are all within the logo like it should be. And they've added new music in the title screen. But sadly, they haven't fixed the awful, awful, god-awful collision detection in that game, which is a shame. There you go. Rambling on a bit there. Never mind. Um, I, mm, 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 mm. Should we work from the top or the bottom? This time, we're going to work from the top and see how that pans out. Like, we'll put that one there. Red in the middle. 
blue and red. Right, you go there then. Oh yeah, yellow and red. Okay. Blue and red. Yeah, you can go. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Yeah, that makes a bit more sense. Oh yeah, we kill them off there. Blue and yellow there. Blue and yellow. Okay. I'm trying to think of this tactically, of course. Put the yellow there for that one. Yellow could go over there. Got red coming down here so we can get rid. We want that like that. We? Oh, of course. Oh no, I've got that mixed up. We need to get rid of that. That's okay. We can do that. Oh, we've got that yellow one at the very bottom to get rid of. Okay, never mind. Okay. Blue's gone there. We can we can get rid of this blue one here. Okay, so we've got that yellow one to get rid of. Blimey. Uh, sugar. I perhaps shouldn't have done that. Us. Oh, sorry. <laughs> right, that's good. We've just got to get a yellow down here and we've done it. Oh, thank God for that. There we go. <laughs> Level two cleared. Let's catch up with the chat quickly. Oh. Uh, back now, it looks like there's a CPC Plus emulator for the Game Boy Tetris. That's right, Mad Commodore. I did a big video on my channel about that. Um... Actually, let me, uh, I'll find you, I'll tell you, I'll find you the link very quickly. Let's have a look. Uh, Game Boy. There you go. So, Mad Commodore. There you go, I did a whole video on it, and it covers everything you need to know there about playing Nintendo's Tetris on a real Amstrad. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I think it works on a non-plus machine as well, I think. Yeah, it works on non-plus machines as well. But the plus version has extra colours to make it look more like the Game Boy one. Um, oh no, Mrs. Zypho. Mini Zypho being a pain in the bomb. Right, let me know if you need any help. Uh, Manchester said it's definitely not difficult to replicate on another 8-bit mach <laughs> machine. It basically looks just like it. But Roller doesn't have the stash and the colour palette is better. Okay. The music is not as good though. So you're gaining one way and losing another. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, this edition works great in Zyna, but she doesn't match the graphical locations. <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it. Are you sure you weren't the coder of that game, Gunblade? Um, Dr. Mario is a banging soundtrack, right. I guess they tried to do their own thing and it just is perhaps not as good. But it's still good. I think the music is all right as it is anyway. Uh, Lots of NES remakes in the CPC. I hope they do a Castlevania. That would be cool. Castlevania. They, they did one for the ZX Spectrum. Uh, spectral uh, illusion or something, wasn't it? On the on the on the specky Castlevania spectral. Inv oh, I don't know, something like that. It looks very very good, uh, but it was more of an RPG, less action, more RPG, which is a bit of a shame. I couldn't really get into it. Um, hey, Magic Knight. Good evening, Magic Knight. Welcome, my friends. How are you? Uh, as I said, how many levels on this game? I think he says on his website. Let me just check. Um. It's not on the website. It might be in the manual. Hang on. Let me um. Let me let me just open it up. Alright. Uh, docs manual. Uh, I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. Oh no, that's the 
wrong. Huh? Okay. There you go. This is the manual. Uh, I'll zoom it out quickly. It's cool that it comes with a manual. Uh, oh, there you go. 21 challenging levels. There's 21 levels. Oh! Oh, no. I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> Only fans pay out with the two pounds. Your video, Hairy Happenings in Hot Tubs, has been successfully Your uploaded. Your video, Hairy Happenings in Hot Tubs, has been successfully uploaded. Oh, no. They, you found that. Oh, God. Has that video got out? Yikes. Thank you, um, whoever that was. Can we have bananas in the chat for our first dono tonight? I assume that might be Naughty Naughty GP. If it is, thank you, my friend. And let the bananas rain down in the chat for... Um, who was that again? Only fans pay. <laughs> Heavy happenings in the hot tubs has been successfully uploaded. Good Lord. No, thank you. Thank you, kind donator. GP, was that you? Or was that Mrs. Zypho? I don't know. Thank you, kind donator. Thank you. Um, so there you go. Fagazi, welcome to the stream, Fagazi. Welcome, uh, welcome, mate. Uh, I nearly missed you there in the chat. Sorry, dude. Welcome, welcome. We've got OMG. It's OSG. Welcome, my friend. So that guy with the glasses on out of Grain Shield becomes a doctor. Does he look like someone from Grain... Which character out of Grain Shield do you reckon he looks like OSG? I can't... I just can't remember it. I can remember Roly and Bronson. That's about it. How you doing, OSG, anyway? Welcome. Um, uh, welcome, welcome. Okay. Um, scary thought that dodo. Well, you've all seen the Amstel. You've all seen it. <laughs> you've all seen it. Um, yes, it was me. Oh, GP. Thank you, my darling. It wasn't me. What? Who knows? Do you reckon that was... Oh, that is... You reckon it actually, that actually looks like Roly from Drain Chill? I don't know. I, I can't picture him in my head. The the, uh, the original guy. Let's see if I can find out who that dono was from. I must have got my drink here. It just depends if, if I've had the email from PayPal and I haven't yet, so never mind. It wasn't GP, then. Okay, okay. Well, thank you, whoever that kind donator was, though. That's very kind of you. And, guys, yeah, if you don't mind, uh, if you remember, give us a like and a thumbs up on the stream. I'd really, really, really appreciate it because it gets it promoted to more people. Roland's Roly. My jokes are wasted in this stream. Oh, that was a joke. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Never mind. Um, oh, I just seen something else come in there. Um, should we wait for it? Come on, alerts. Alerts are always delayed for some reason. Um, thank you for the likes, the thumbs up so far, guys. Really, really appreciate that. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Just waiting for Alex. There it is. Ah, Mr. Alex, look with the magical 464. I will give you a few dancing sugars for that. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's any message with that, but thank you, Alex. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. Cheers for the uh, cheers for the super chat there, dude. The magical 464. Let the bananas rain down for the lovely Alex look there. Alex, cheers, buddy. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Um, GP, very insistent it wasn't him. I can't uh, confirm or deny at the moment because I'm not getting the email from PayPal yet. Hey, FC Den Hog, no worries, mate. No worries, details. Have a great stream. I go with some friends out drinking. Enjoy, my friends. And if you come back here ready plastered, behave yourself. <laughs> Take care, man. Have a great evening. And Alex, thank you, man. You're a top bloke. Top bloke, Alex. Right, let's um, pause my music. And we're going to do level... She gets level three. Level three, Sprint 01. Now, I never know, guys. Who's, who here? Are, who here is Dr. Mario expert? 
Should I work for the viruses at the top or from the bottom? I think it's harder to get rid of them at the bottom, won't it? But if you get rid of them at the top, you're going to have blocks building up. It's going to be harder to get rid of them at the bottom, late, bottom later on. So I think you should probably work to get rid of the bottom viruses, right? So... No! Oh, bloody hell, I'm starting that again. Or should I? Oh, no, I could sort it. I could sort it. Okay. Oh! Oh! Whoa! Gunblade! Gunblade, lad, 77! Holy crap! There's a 664! On his first time here in the chat as well. Gunblade, lad, thank you, mate. I feel like an idiot doing this, but I've got to support the CBC love. If you, for those of you that don't get the joke, the, six, the code name for the 664 was idiot, which is an acronym that stands for insert disc instead of tape, right? The 664 had a disc drive. But, um, thank you, Gunblade Lad, for the 664 there. Can we have lots of bananas in the chat for Gunblade Lad? What a do? Comes in the stream for the first time, well, watching live and in the chat and drops a 664. Thank you, mate. Thank you very, very, very much, dude. Much love, mate. Much love. And uh, what was that OSG? He said, I'm sorry about my jeeks. Jez jeeks? Oh, jokes. I'm sorry about my jokes. I've been playing 45 Commodore 64 football games. Ten of them okay, three of them good, and the rest like something that as kid has coded. I'm sick. Yeah. I try, try the Amstrad football game, OSG. Try them. There's only about like three or four really good ones. Um, and they're nothing compared to Micropro Soccer on the uh, T64. If Micropro Soccer doesn't come top, you better have a good reason for it, OSG. <laughs> I thought it was the decryptive word for anyone who bought it. Aha. Uh -huh. You see, OSG and his jokes there. Oh, uh, but Gunblade Lad, you rock, dude. Thank you very, very, very much. Right, I'm gonna crack it. Oh! oh GP! With a one pound donation. He says, I didn't donate that, but this is me. I hope that if I said some. Oh, I'll, I'll let the Texas speech do it. I didn't donate that, but this is me. I hoped if I said I did as someone wanted it to sound like me, then they would go up. Also, C64 is great. Boo! <laughs> Thank you, GP. Bananas in the chat there for GP. Let the bananas rain down. Thank you, GP. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. <laughs> How dare you say that in an Amstrad stream? How dare you, sir? How dare you? <laughs> Thank you, mate. Thank you very, very much. There you go. There's the bananas. It's between Emily Hughes and Microbase. To be fair, it, that it would be a close one, OSG, to be fair. What's match day two like on the uh, Commodore 64? I think Brian would like to know. Guys, one second. I think I just need to blow my nose. My nose is so itchy at the moment from hay fever, I think. Bear with me. Sorry about that. Oh, God, my nose is so itchy at the moment on the inside. Um, GP is a man of taste. Dude, he, he's after me. He hides my bins, uh, spying and peeping on me. Are you sure he's got taste? Um, oh, who have we got there in the chat there? We have someone joined in. Incractor. Good evening, Mr. Incractor. Welcome, welcome. No ams honk tonight. No, I muted the microphone. What? Oh, no. What am 
I doing here? No! You are kidding! I've really screwed this up, haven't I, guys? Okay, okay. Oh! Uh... Oh! Oh, bloody hell! Oh, man! through the super chat. It says, thanks for the great streams you do, top man. Oh, thank you, Jimmy. Thank you very, very, very much, mate. Thank you, dude. Oh, you no, you're a top bloke, dude. Bananas in the chat. I can see them already flooding in anyway, but uh, thank you, Jimmy. Thank you. Oh, that's the wrong thing there. <laughs> I'm setting up the wrong things on the stream now. Oh, well. Oh, well. Thank you, Jimmy. You're a top bloke, dude. Welcome, welcome. And uh, Mr. Smooth MJ. How you doing, Smoothie? Moonwalking into the stream as always. How you doing, Smoothie? And thanks for the gifted sub to Dreamy last night, mate. That was a really nice thing to do. Uh, and Robert Berry. Rob, how you doing as well, mate? <laughs> welcome, Rob. Sorry, I just seen our G's message there. You're the worst at Dr. Roland. I hope we get this in the World Cup. <laughs> I am pretty terrible. I am. I, I am. I'm too distracted. That's the problem. That is the problem. Uh, did I miss anyone else there? But uh, Jimmy, thank you, mate. You rock, dude. You're right, Mrs. Ifa. It's probably my na nasal hairs. I need to give them a trim. Yeah, I, I, oh god, I just can't. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself on this level. We'll stop. <laughs> I accidentally cleared it there. I'm gonna start over again. You are dead. Press any key. Right, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Um, I was too distracted there. Well, by all the kind, lovely people. Can't be asked to put my score in there. But don't worry, we can start from that level again. Hey, Retro and Lim, welcome, welcome. So I want a troll intro. What do you mean by that, Retro and Lim? How you doing, mate? I'll take you on a break from work at the moment. Um, who is Al Runyard? Is he new here? He's Vocal, OSG. Right. Right, let's try this again. Let me just pause it there. Um, we could, mm, we want to get rid of them at the bottom, but there's that yellow one in the middle, the red one there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna slot. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, there we, there we go. That is not what I wanted to do though. Oh. We put. Actually, I don't know why I've done that. Let's get rid of that red one there. Bloody hell. Ah! <laughs> Who says I'm bad at this game? In your face, OSG. <laughs> Right, we set that one up there. Oh! Oh! Damn it! I, you know what I was doing there? I was lucky to get that next one spawned like that. So, just need to build that blue one up there. We're smashing this one. Go in the bag. <laughs> Level three cleared. Yes, you do know my whiskey. Um, uh, the the mini Zypho is not mini Wox movie. He's been a little git at the moment. Uh, hope, uh, Mrs. Zypho has, has the mini Zypho calmed down now. Uh, Mark Dixon, good evening, Mark. How you doing, mate? 
I was going to say, have you seen the Dr. Mario play? <laughs> exactly, we're playing it tonight. We're going to we'll play for a little bit longer tonight. Uh, not, we're not going to do it all night long. I'm not trying to beat the game all 21 levels or whatever it is. So, um, oh, we've we, we got a Frischnit here. Hey, Frischnit! Good to see you. Frischnit doesn't always get time to come on Amstrings, but he's been a long, long time supporter of the channel. Thank you, Frischnit. How you doing, mate? Good to see you. And uh, how's tricks, dude? Oh, he's quiet now, apparently, the mini Zypho. Don't jinx it. Okay. I'll try and keep my volume levels down, Mrs. Zy. Like, um, right. Okay. Okay. Right, let's crack on then. GP says, imagine waking up after... What? Imagine waking up after making love all night to Zypho, then playing some CPC games. Okay, moving on. Right, level four, the smile. <laughs> uh, the smile, right. Oh, and Claude Rains, hey, how you doing, Darren? How's tricks, mate? And Smoothie says, I oh, know the joke is getting on. I'll keep that. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It is all good. I will say, these controls are way too sensitive. And then we could put a red there. And then we just have to get uh, the blue, uh, sorry, yellows coming down. Easy peasy. I, I, I'm, I'm doing better now, Dreamy, aren't I? I'm not triggering you as much now. <laughs> uh, the music, though, Christ the Bright Bike says, um, Mark Dixon. Guys, if the music is really, I know it's kind of plinky plonky, kind of ooh, jo jolly kind of music. If it starts really annoying you, I can turn the music off and put my own background music on. It's up to you guys. Hey, Zombie Peaks. Good to see you, Zombie Peaks. How you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. How's tricks of you, dude? Uh, do let me know in the chat. How you doing? Um, reminds me of that one wee guy from Trivial Pursuits throwing darts. I've never played Trivial Pursuit, so um, I, I, I won't get that, unfortunately. Maybe someone else will. Um, we have tri I think there's a Trivial Pursuits game on the Amstrad, isn't there? Or am I, am I thinking of Pictionary? We ought to try that. Instead of an Ams quiz one night, do the Pictionary game or something like that. If, if, it's, if that could work, how could we work that? I don't know. I'll have a think. I'll have a think on that one. Um, I bet this is how the chemist at my doctor sorts the prescriptions out. That's why you have to wait 20 minutes for a sealed bottle of pills. Yeah, I never understood why the pharmacists take so long. Thankfully, I've got a new independent pharmacist, not one of the, not one of the Lloyd's chain or whatever. 
And it, they are so much quicker. Go independent every time. Plus, they have more access to other companies, distributors. So if they're out of stock uh, in Lloyd's, you're out, you, you, you're stuck. Whereas, like, your independent pharmacists can ring around places and get them in. Anyway. Hey, Robert De Niro in the stream. Welcome to the stream. He says, thanks for this video from French Fran. Hey, bonjour or bonsoir, Robert. Hey, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. We've got Robert De Niro himself in the stream tonight. Can everyone tag Robert uh, De Niro? I'll give him a big Amstream. Uh, is it Bonsoir, isn't it? Bonsoir. We'll do a Bonsoir. That's good evening, isn't it? In French. Sorry. Apologies. My French is terrible. Your English is probably better than mine, though. <laughs> um... Um, right, hey, Zombie Peaks again, good to see you, dude. Uh, zombie, uh, sorry, Gunblade Lad, uh, best go now, late nights, I'm grateful for you, and wake up, so have fun, some fun folks, remember that a good pun uh, in it, it is its own reword. Oh, bless you. Gunblade Lad, thank you again for coming in the stream for the first time, thank you for the dono as well, mate, Sh holy crap, dude, and uh, thanks for being with us tonight, hopefully we'll catch you again soon, see you soon, Gunblade Lad, always welcome back here, my friend, always welcome back. Taxi 88 how you doing matey? He says, happy 40th anniversary to Mario Day. Is it really Mario's 40th anniversary today? Ooh. I didn't know that. Is that true? Uh, says, I'm wondering about the Amsterdam version of Trivial Pursuit. Oh! I have never seen or played that, Frishnip. We might have a look at it later, perhaps. Who wants to request it? I don't know if we could get the, uh, people joining in via Discord on their phones, uh, using their mic and cameras on, your, on their phones, but um, if it would work, I don't know. We could have a look at that later. We could. I've never actually seen it running before, or know how the game actually works. So, um, the two versions through the suit both feature the same little chap. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Um... <laughs> hey Batman77 Welcome, welcome I was you getting excited that it's the real Robert De Niro Robert De Niro does live in France now doesn't he Or oh, he did, I, th I thought he did I might be wrong <laughs> Brian Hooper, Mond too Yes um, Right, right What did I miss GP saying? Uh, I missed that. Never mind. Uh, Tessie, yes, in Japanese arcades on the 9th of July, 1981, Donkey Kong was unleashed with Jumpman, as Mario was named at the time, being the character you controlled in it. Oh! So that's very handy. We're doing a Dr. Mario clone tonight in honour of Mario. <laughs> that's cool. Right. Let's check out level 5 then. God, I'm only at level 5. It's been... How long have we been streaming for? An hour and 20 minutes? Oh, well. What's that about Mrs. Zypher using chloroform there? Good lord. Keeping away from that. Alright. Uh, we just sling this one down here. Ready? Oh! What's this? Oh! The floor's growing at me. That's really off putting. Right, shall we? Uh, uh, uh. Right, we've got to be as quick as we can then. Holy poop. Right. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That blue destroying there. The floor's growing at me. I can't cope with that. Right, red. Give me a red one. Oh god. Oh. Oh, that was triggering my anxiety there. <laughs> Let me just clean my glasses a second. Oh. 
Oh, shut up. Hang on. The bloody music. <laughs> okay, that's cool. That's a cool new feature. The, the floor can grow at you now. Oh, God. Panic setting in there. Oh, that's a nice touch. Technically, it's the 30th anniversary of Donkey Kong, and the big Nintendo aren't capitalizing capitalizing on it, so the internet is crying over it, is it? I've got to have a look on Twitter later. Um, background me of, the background reminds me of early Premier League goalkeeper kits from the 1990s. Yes, they were rather dodgy. Good Lord. Um... I was going to bring up a picture on the stream, but I can't remember what year it was. There's this awful pink, yellow, lime green, checkered monstrosity that a forest keeper had once. Anyway, never mind. Uh, Texas says, Shigeru Miyamoto wanted Jumpman to have a proper name. Nintendo once rented a US-based building from a businessman named Mario Seagal, and Mario is named after him. Oh, really? Hmm. And I also think they named Kirby after their lawyer in America as well. His name was something something Kirby. Unfortunately, he was quite a rotund guy as well. <laughs> um, he will cut his open social distance from me because it was in 50 meters of his house or he'd shoot me. Yes, I've warned you, GP. I've warned you. My guns are trained. Um, right, okay. Okay, right, let's crack on. Level 6, X. The X. Alright, okay. Blue and yellow. Right, you go there. You go there. Blue and red. There. Oh no! Don't do that to me again! Don't like it. So you need to get rid of the top ones then. Oh man. Okay, 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 okay. Dead. Wrecked. Tortazoed. Um. Did Steven Seagal's brother. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, it was John Kirby who represented Nintendo against Universal. Right, yeah, yeah. What about the dogs too? The two sausage dogs I was cheating. <laughs> Do you know if I get if I get two dogs, I might name them OSG and Lucas. That'd be good. That'd be good. Uh, Universal tried suing Nintendo for copyright infringement of the King Kong. Ah, uh, that even that links to Donkey Kong. But Kirby proved that King Kong was in the Creative Commons and no one owned the rights to it. So they named the Kirby games and character after John Kirby. There you go. If it was a Codemasters game, it would be called Anxiety Medication Simulator. Yes, exactly. Thank you, uh, Pete, there for the top tip there. Actually, I'm starting to enjoy this more and get into the tactics and stuff. Don't worry, we can, we can start over from this level again. It's level six. We'll do a couple more levels at least, I think. Give it a fair shake, because we're actually seeing some new levels and surprises. Yellow and red there. I think we... Yeah, that could go there. Uh, 
that not might not have been the thing to do. Oh, okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, we need to get the red one up here ASAP. Uh, the controls are very, very sensitive, as I've said, haven't I? A few times. the right thing. Right, uh, it's not giving me time to think, is it? Oh, God. Right, you go there, you go there, you go there. Oh, no, I need to build this up here. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh. Um. Uh. Hang on. Why is uh, Mark Dixon been timed out for five minutes? Uh. Oh, man, shiver. What happened there? What did I miss? Uh. How can we uh, How can we block uh, Mark Dixon there for five minutes? Oh, okay. Was it because there's uh, swearing there? Um, yeah. And ne next time, uh, just delete the message, man shovel. Um, and I'll hide the message rather than uh, time out for five minutes. Um, let me make decision on timing out. But but no worries, man shovel. Uh, Mark, sorry, my friends. You'll be you'll be back shortly. Okay. an S-bomb. You were trying to remove your own message. Oh, unfortunately, Man Shovel, you timed out uh, Mark Dixon for five minutes. Mark, I'm sorry, my friend. I'm sorry. Uh, there's no way, for, unfortunately, once it's gone through, there's no way for me to reverse that. So, sorry, Mark. Just wait it out and you'll be back shortly. But yes, keep it family friendly if you can, please. No swearing. When I say family friendly, just eh, it's simple to say no swearing because I, uh, I, get, I get in trouble <laughs> on YouTube's. Terrible, was it? It's level six, wasn't it? Right, here we go. We'll do the X again. I did a video about that man shovels like first thing. The story is in there. Are you going to do that in the in the end, uh, RSG? I thought you were skipping doing that one. But that'd be a really good video for your channel. You should definitely do it, dude. Definitely. Not have been the right. Oh, that. This is okay here. Right, you go there. You go there. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Watch this. Watch this. Get oh, no! Son of a bitch. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Right, I'll do it here. How, how sensitive the controls are, okay? You feel me? Oh! Uh, 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 oh no, I'm screwing it up, aren't I? Okay, okay, okay. You are freaking kidding me. Ah! God damn it. Oh, I'm stuck in there. Never mind. Never mind. I was cheap. Careful. Um, don't say simply or chummy, although it was the worst way <laughs> Uh, you were giving it to me, but you rejected it. I didn't reject it. I said it was good. <laughs> no, you do it, man. It's your hard work there. It's your hard work. You should do it. If you think you're going to do it for your channel, it'll be really good for you. Hey, the real Odie. Welcome, my friend. Another new Amstrad game tonight, real Odie. 
There you go. Yes, time was open for a swear. Right. What? Did I say a swear word? What swear word? Did I? You're dead, press the key. How can you press the key if you're dead? <sighs> I'm Jogstrad464. How are you doing, Chris? Says, hey, hey, everybody. I see we are playing a Dr. Mario clone. Looks decent. It's brand new out on the Amstrad Jogstrad. And it's bloody great. It's really, really good. Uh, we shall move on very shortly, guys. I think we've, we've been on this about an hour now. So um, um, I'm going to get nowhere near level 21. You know it. I know it. So we'll move on shortly. I uh, use a derogatory word to sort of be wash your mouth, you dirty little boy. I think that's all right. As long as you're not calling a, a lady specifically that in the chat. Uh, bitch, I think is fine. Don't worry. It's just the uh, big swear words that um, YouTube scan for and stuff. Anyway. Right, give, I'll give that level one more try. Come on. That's, that's handy. Virus has got cleared away already. Right, you pop you there. You go there. And we'll slide you like there. Blue and red. There you go. Thank you. I'm not taking any chances, I'm just going to get rid of that as quick as I can. Blue, cut that, there you go. Boom! Uh. Oh god! Really super sensitive. Blue and red. Yellow and blue, there you go. Just going to get rid of it as quick as I can. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. You gotta put a yellow on top of this. There you go. Uh, oh, we need to get rid of that blue, don't we, as well? Crap. Right. Get this one here, and we're gonna shove it in the corner. Let's go! Finally, we've done it there. <laughs> oh, cool, cool. There we go. Uh, hey, German78, moshing into the stream. How you doing, mate? After getting a 40, Warhammer 40k kick in. Oh, no. Sorry to hear that, German. Never mind. It's the taking part that counts. This game looks cool. Yeah, it's a Dr. Mario clone called Dr. Roland. Great name, eh? Welcome, man shovel. So I must have put a quarter in the swear jar. I think bitch is a swear word, is it? It's a, it's a word for a female dog, right? So, um... As long as you, it's the context as well, I suppose, as well, in that case. But saying the S word, S-H-I-T, the F-U-C-K, and all that, 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 whatever context, YouTube will scan that and, yeah, I could get in trouble. Never mind. Um, I, uh, what was that? Sorry. Jokstra says, I just discovered a game on my RG351 the other day. My answer list called Doors of Doom. Bit of a Roland in time space. Yes, I think it might be made by the same guys actually, Jockstrad. I can't get on with that one, but it's actually not a bad little game. That music had to turn the sound down. Oh, okay, the music is getting a bit annoying for people. I understand. So we'll make this the last level we're doing tonight, tonight on Dr. Roland, and then I'll get your thoughts and opinions on the game. Level seven, the virus attack. So this is the last level we're doing tonight, guys, and then we're gonna move on. Uh, yeah, and red. So red, you go there. Uh. What? Viruses are spreading. Uh. Oh, more and more repairing. That's that, that's not cricket. 
rid of that one. Can you go there? Red and blue. Right there. Okay. Go there. Red and blue. You go there. That's good. So we've got, we've got to get rid of them as quick as possible, really. Um, red there. Red there. Oh! No! Actually, that might help out later on. Right, let's get rid of that. Damn it! I'm mocked up there. Right, that one's gone. Got a red there. Got a space. Oh, there's a blue one just spawned. Oh, you son of a bitch. Red. So lost now. There's, oh, there's so many of them spawning. But right, we need yellow ones. Yellows. God damn it. Okay, 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 okay. This is not good for my anxieties. We need a double red to appear. I don't think. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Ah! Oh, I'm giving up. I've, I've screwed it. Let's give it up there. Ah! Oh. Probably need to do a long play for this, yeah, Pete. Yeah, I'll probably do it on the channel. You are dead. Never mind. <laughs> there you go. And I'll just show you two player mode just um, uh, currently. Uh, choose initial start level doesn't matter. I'll show you two players in action. There you go. So if I start doing well as like the second player, watch what happens. See, you start spawning viruses on the other side. Do you see that? All right, okay. Well, there you go. That was the two player in action. So if you notice, I was controlling on the right hand side there. Every time I cleared a line, it was spawning viruses on the other player's side. So that's where it gets more intense. So there you go. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what do we what do we reckon there? I'm gonna pause the music because it's gonna annoy everyone. What do we reckon there to Dr. Rowland? Do you think that's do you think it's a good game? Marks out of ten maybe? Actually, I don't normally ask that on uh, homebrew stuff because uh, I don't want to put off uh, homebrew coders. But did we enjoy that one anyway? And now you're gonna play this yourself. Mr. Neil Simpson, good evening, sir. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm avoiding all rotor talk. <laughs> uh, and especially Trump stuff as well. Oh, I wish you. I'm not getting there. I'm not going there. Uh, Zypho is the body of a god. Unless it's Buddha. <laughs> um, 
Hey, no worries, Jogstrad. Good to have you back here. Um, but yeah, but, uh, okay. Nice game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, leave, I'd say don't give it a score. Just say if you'd like it and if you're going to check it out and download it. If you want to get the game, exclamation mark Dr. Roland in the chat. I think that's ace. I think that's a fantastic conversion of Dr. Mario. I don't think you could have done much better. Apart from uh, having some different tunes and not so plinky plonky, if you know what I mean. And also the controls are a touch oversensitive. It just needs to be a tiny, a tiny lag and delay on the controls. Especially when you're like shifting pieces around and stuff. Um, but only a smidgen, just a tiny, tiny smidgen. And that would have been perfect. Otherwise, that is a fantastic um, uh, clone. That really, really is. Looks really nice. Plays really good. It's got a pro it looks like it's got all the features of Dr. Mario in there. So yeah, you can't really ask for much better. Apart from maybe the music and a slight, slight lag on the controls would be nice. Uh, I've checked the control thing you mentioned. Looks like you tapped it to the end. Probably a 9 or 10 port for me. Yeah, I, I couldn't do it. Um, I'd say I couldn't do it on a D pad or a joystick. I, I had to switch the keys. So I could just lightly tap the keys, if you know what I mean, main haze. But give it a try yourself and see what you think. Yeah, yeah. It's so good, really nicely done, says Magic Knight. Oh, bless, bless. My body is a temple, says German78. Old, falling apart, and haunted. <laughs> I feel you, bro. I feel you. Um, too colorblind to play this when it's front frantic. I know. It, I, I just that my anxiety gets like. Uh, and if you have any color blindness, well, you yeah, you're gonna struggle that. Um, so if a wait till you see Puzzle Bob on the C64, that will blow your socks off. That's coming to the Amstrad 2 RSG. Although the early previews looked okay on that. But I'll, I'll, I'll look forward to see what the Commodore 64 version is like. Um. <laughs> Fair enough, Al. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I might play more of this on um, Twitch next week or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, hey, Sebastian. 100 Mega Shark UI. Hey, how you doing, man? Good to see you. We've just been playing a new, brand new Amstrad game called uh, Dr. Roland. Feel free to rewind the stream quick to catch it. Um, uh, but we're going to move on now, actually. I'll be honest, I say put, uh, I say put as clone seems a bit insulting to developers. I think he even calls it that. I think he calls it that in the manual. So I don't think he'd be insulted, Brian. But I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um, but he's done his own game here. He's done really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I have a CC voice and I give it to you if you don't share a video here. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, you can trust me, dude. You can trust me. I'm not exactly big in the Commodore 64 community, am I? I all I know is like Hayes Maker and that's it. And he's not getting it. <laughs> Quick drink there. Why is my um my view account thing has been really laggy for some reason tonight? Refresh it. Okay. Yeah, because there's actually a lot more people watching than <laughs> never mind. I know, and he, he and if you give it to me, he won't get it, trust me. Um Hey, Mr. Craig's Bar, Craig Harrison, you've been out by Mr. Greetings. Yes, Craig, um, we did a new thing. I don't know if you saw in um, uh, Discord, in the Am Squad channel. Um, we now have a timer. So I'll show you that. We did that. And there's a timer we can set. Oh, actually, I've closed it off now, actually. And we did it with five minutes to spare, actually. We actually got through the greetings in 10 minutes then, actually. That's pretty good going, apart from after I said a hello and everything. So we've now got that, Craig. So we're doing it a bit quicker now. So uh, you tuned in late and missed Dr. Mario. Sorry, Dr. Roland. Never mind. Um, right, okay. For a bit of fun this evening, then, we're going to move on from that. From Dr. Roland. Oh, that is a great, great product. Do you know, guys, if there was a physical release for that, 100% I would buy that. That's that, that's high praise. Um, I'm going to get my arcade stick out now for this. And we're going to go to the Euros 2020 Championship Finals. We're going to play England versus Italy in CPC Soccer. Uh, one of the best games released last year. It It is mad and a bit broken. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. But it's bloody good fun. 
Uh, right, anyway, CPC cycle final version. Right, there we go. We'll get this up and running then. Uh, let me just check uh, something quickly off stream. I know Voxel Tower was in the chat earlier. I sent him a bug to fix. If uh, he could do it in time for nothing. I don't think he has. Oh, that's okay. Never mind. Um, so I'm going to go... Well, World Cup. We haven't got. We have actually got the Euros in this, but we can do a friendly between England versus Italy. Italy for the throw-in. Oh, good grief, movie. We know that you're not a, a football fan. So, this... Right, normally, what I'd do here is set the timer to like eight minutes so we'd have like four minutes per half uh which is about not too long is it oh manuel mr schultz oh with the 664 through the super chat there thank you manuel thank you very 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 much dude can we give Manuel some love and some bananas in the chat there? Let the bananas rain down for the magical 664 there. There we go. <laughs> Thank you, Manuel. Cheers, dude. Thank you very, very, very much. And all the best to Mrs. Schultz there as well with you at the, at the campfire watching the stream. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Um, there we go. <laughs> no diving. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he actually got tripped, uh, was it Sterling? But if you look from a different angle, after the tackle came in, the player barged him from the side. So, uh, it's a 50-50 one, I think. I don't think he dived deliberately. May maybe. I don't know. I don't know. So, okay. Um, I was saying that there was a bug. If I change the time limit to eight minutes, um, the scores disappear. At the bottom of the pitch and you can't see who's in the lead or what the scores are so we'll keep it at five minutes we're gonna put this on the highest level uh, but the scores work when you're actually at the default five minutes but you change it to eight minutes and it'll break the uh, the timer and the scoreboard so never mind no laser pointers someone was saying wasn't that a uh, press photographer's cameras um, face ranger thing that green laser Someone was saying that in Twitter, and it's not like a laser pointer, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I just saw there was a news article about it. I've not read it, though. <laughs> right, okay. Right, predictions in the chat for England versus Italy. We're going to have England versus Italy. Um, we might do a couple of matches, depending how quick this goes by. Here we go. And what's good about the um, community edition, the latest version of CPC Soccer, is if you have a look, it's actually got the names of the players and actually fairly accurate. Uh, we've got Pickford in goal, Stones. I don't know if Rose is played in, in the Euros, is, is he? Uh, Maguire, Trippier, Henderson, Barkley. I don't know if Delph is in the squad. Rice is. Sterling, of course, is Kane up front. Um, Heaton's backup goalkeeper. Rashford is on the, on the bench, though. Ooh. Anyway, we're going to play in a 3-5-2 formation, just like England did for most of the match um, the other day. International soccer on CC4 on max difficulty was very, very bad. Why? Was it like to, um, just too over overly hard? Tomorrow it's time for England to win the Euro. Go for it, dudes. Thank you, Sebastian. It's actually Sunday that's happening, so in two days' time. But thank you. Thank you. Hopefully 3-2 to you, uh, boys. 3-2. Quite specific there. I don't want penalties. I really don't want penalties. Good lord. But imagine if it did go to penalties and we won on them. That would be like full-on redemption, wouldn't it? Mm. Anyway. Let's get into it. Kick off. Put the music down a touch. Actually, that's okay. All right, Harry Kane to take the kick off. What do you reckon then, guys? 1-0. Oh, hang on. What? Oh, there we go. We're, we're working now. 1-0, 2-0, 3-0, 4-0. To who? Right, off we go. Down the pitch. Having a dribble. No! He's been tackled there. 
Turn into through and goal! And I couldn't see where the ball was there, actually. Oh, God. Ah! Lose the control of which my player is. Oh, good shot there. I think that was... Uh, was that Kane? I didn't see that. Nice little tackle there. He hoofs it down the pitch. Kane's on the ball. Tries to lob the keeper. Keeper saves. So, yeah, we have put this on the hardest difficulty. I don't know how much of a difference it makes. Oh! Nice zigzagging run there. Blast it away. I mean, I love this game. This game, uh, CPC Soccer, was released last year, guys and girls, as you probably remember from the Sugars and stuff like that. Actually, this one award for best AI. The AI isn't technically that brilliant. I mean... Oh, what a goal! Scored by Barkley. There we go. Is this the in-game commentary? <laughs> there you go. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Take it back there. Oh, good save by the keeper there. Pickford coming out there. Oh, I missed the ball there. And there's a bit of an inertia when you like move your players around, so they build. So they build up. Uh, so if you tap, like if your player's at a standstill and tap like forward, he will sort of go. If you know what I mean? Oh no! Oh my god! The ki oh god! The Italian skied it over the crossbar there with an open goal. Let's hope that happens. <laughs> To be honest, the AI is actually not too bad. The, the, the computer do pass it about a bit and take decent shots on goal. That's very, very, very hard to do AI. Uh, especially for a game that has like, you know, 22 different sprites all behaving differently. It's also, I mean, it is the, the scrolling's a bit wonky. There's graphical artifacts on the screen there. You can see that in the penalty area, white blob to the left there. Um, it's not polished, it's not perfect, but god damn is it fun. It really, really is good fun football game. And trust me, this is from a connoisseur of football games. I absolutely love me arcade soccer stuff. And um, I was really hoping this would be the one for me. And it's not disappointed. The scrolling's rough in places, yes, as well. Oh, they hit the crossbar. But there are injuries that can happen in the game. We can have red cards. Oh, um, and all that. If a player gets injured, you, you're recommended to substitute him because he'd be just running like a knackered donkey. Instead he gets the ball on this, does the passport get dis disabled for realism? <laughs> yeah, unfortunately not that real, Johnny boy. Long range shot there. I haven't got much of a defence because I've gone 3-5-2 here. But if you see that, it, it, it will pass the ball to players' feet automatically for you, so that's cool. Half time. See how quick that's gone by. <laughs> One nil to England at half time. Possession fifty five to forty. So you get possession stats as well. It's keeping it keeping accounts up there. Um. Uh, it is very similar to Uruguay. Very solid defender. Very hard mid camp and very stubborn. Mm. Yeah. Well, I get all teams. You have to start from the back. Build from your defence upwards. Yeah. Um. When you're building your team. And uh, should be able to get win here. Just need to be sensible about it. Yeah, it's sensible soccer on the Amstrad. Uh, Pick had a stinker on Wednesday. Yeah, his distribution was a bit... Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, I hope he sorts it out for Sunday, and I don't want to jinx him, but it worries me that John Stones hasn't made his bad... Uh, made his bad pass back yet. <laughs> I don't hear what you're saying. Hopefully, it was just nerves of Pickford, and now he's settled. Hopefully, now, now we're in the final, we would... The team have already achieved something that no others have done since 1966. But hopefully they can relax a little bit, knowing that they've already achieved something the country's going to be really, really happy about. Oh, damn it, got tackled there. Kane. Oh, oh. Good shot by the computer there. Keeper saves. Oh, no, Pickford's. He's doing what he was doing again on that bloody last match. Right. Good 
ball out there. Nice passing. Goes around the defender there. Oh, keeper spoons it out. It is sometimes hard to see which play you're controlling. And the play you think you're controlling then suddenly switches to a different player. Then you're going in the opposite direction. Oh. oh. What you wanted to do is try and get the keeper to rush out and then chip him. Like that. But I need, I need to do, do that a little bit later. Oof. Oh. Oh, he's been sent off. Red card to Florenzi. I hope that happens. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. And yeah, the player sprites do jitter around the pitch a lot. It's, <laughs> it's just, it, it, it's a thing. Hey, um, uh, Yellow Belly, welcome back, sir. How are you doing? Um, have you just finished work and got in? Uh, sorry, for, sorry that you missed Dr. Roland. I'm sure you're going to be giving it a play yourself this weekend anyway. Oh, quarter kick. Oh, that's a bit of a crap corner. Oh, oh keeper comes out and saves. Right, there we go. Oh, Barkley scores his second goal. I don't know what happened there. I thought the keeper had saved it, but it went in. We'll, we'll take that. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, there we go. Oof down the pitch. Oh. I, 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 that was that should have been a certain goal there. <gasps> Keeper saves off the bar, I think. Oh, I chipped it over there. Never mind, just over the crossbar. Oh, cool! You just got in. House tricks, yellow belly. I bet you're knackered, dude. Uh, yellow belly as well. I was, just, I was going to send the DM if you want me to do any more testing. Uh, send me the latest file. Uh, maybe I'll have a go this weekend. And tell me what you need me to test. On that, on that project. <gasps> the Italians have scored. It's 2-1. Goal scored by Giorgino. Bloody hell. Is it Niles Barkley keeps scoring? <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. Yes, it is OSG. Oh, that was a good shot there, just over the bar. I think the ref will be playing for full time shortly. 88 minutes left on the clock. Can we get another goal to seal the deal? No, there you go. Full time and England win. 2-1. Two 2-1 to, one. Two one to England. So there you go. That's our prediction for, uh, for Sunday. 2-1 to England. Wait, just wait. Until, hey, guess. Hey, what if? What if? What if we, it is actually 2-1 to England on Sunday? You'll all be like, Zypho is a god. You predicted it. You know, and then you shall worship. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. I'll reply. Uh, sorry, yeah. Uh, I said hello to you in the chat. I think you'd already gone back to work. I said I got you. I saw your DM just before... Um, um, going live, so I didn't have a chance to reply. But yeah, I've seen it. Uh, I'll get back to you hopefully later tonight or like tomorrow. But um, yeah, no worries. I was wondering if you want me to test anything else. Oh, pfft. belly. <laughs> hey, Mike ZT. Good to the open, sir. Welcome, welcome. Let's be honest, Diaz, amigos, 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 and amigas. Right, Tortazo. Welcome, Mike. How are you doing, mate? So there you go. England versus Italy. It was actually, I could only do a short match. So, because, um, unfortunately, Vauxhall Towers... We found a bug on the uh, full match length. And Vauxhall Tower hasn't, uh, hasn't fixed it yet. But, guys, I heartily recommend getting CPC Soccer. You can get it from Bitmap Soft. Um, the green... Uh, the chroma key will break this, but it's got a lovely green cover here and a, a, a bright green cassette tape as well which unfortunately the the um the chroma key is not going to work on unfortunately on the on the camera but never mind 
but yeah, CPC soccer there for you. Uh, okay, for bitmap soft, I think I did a, a Nightbot command for it actually. For the link, CPC soccer. Let's check. How did that work there? Oh dear, GP got kicked in the nuts by the Nightbot. The, oh, because you type P I S S. There you go. Oh look, there you go. There you go. CPC soccer link. That did work. I did set that command up. Right. Okay, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Um. Oh crap, I didn't change me um, background there. Crap, I have uh, TPC Soccer England versus Italy. Right, do you know what? I'm going to have one more match of that, actually. We're going to do one more match. Oh no, I'll turn on the macro on this. Hang on. That should be alright. We're going to do one more match. We're going to have a quick rematch just to make sure. Uh, and then we're going to take a short break. And then we're going to do some game requests from you guys. Let's do another friendly. England, Italy, there we go. And we'll see if we can score in some more creative ways this time. I'm going for the 3 5 2, that worked fine. Leaves me vulnerable in defence, but if I can score more goals on them, then I'm going to win, aren't I? Right, here we go. One more time, one more time. And then we'll get to some game requests. GP was being GP. He said, he said a rude, naughty word, and the Nightbot spanked him. He likes getting spanked by the Nightbot. Oh. Oh. I'm not getting the ball away quick enough there. Oh. So really, just tackle them. Just, just walk into the player, basically. It's a good system, actually. It works quite well. The trouble is the ball's quite hard to see sometimes. It's hard to see if it's like in control at your feet. Oh, what a goal by Maguire. Maguire scores. Any news of Wonderbait remake on the Amsterdam CPC? Yeah, good progress has been made, uh, Sebastian. Oh. Um, um, Odie, you helped them out a bit, didn't you? If you're still here in the chat. <laughs> Maybe you can tell them. Tell Sebastian that. Oh, oh, oh. See, I couldn't see who had the ball there. That is that is one problem with this game. Crowd cheering there for some weird reason. I think for that tackle that happened. <laughs> oh, weak shot there. Maguire is class. Yeah, he's a, he's a decent player. I really like this England squad, actually. I really do like them. Honestly, before the match, uh, before the tournament, sorry... 90% of the players I've never heard of because I don't really follow Premier League football. I just watch not Nottingham Forest and I don't read anything else. So. <gasps> oh no! The Italians have scored! Giorgino again! Bloody hell. Hey, Vocal! Good night, dude! Take care, man. Mr. Al Runyard. I will see you again soon, my friend, hopefully. Ooh. Take care, man. Have a great weekend. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, keeper. The keeper is actually pretty good, though. And I did actually take control of it manually there. It happens at the right moment. So, uh, good programming there. <laughs> um, hey, Sir Nicotech. I'm going to go hit the hay. Night's over and night all. No worries, Sir Nicotech. Take care, my friend. And have a great weekend. And thank you for your support as always, dude. Take care, dude. Oh, that's a good ball. Good ball. He's through. Oh, nearly chipped the keeper. So it's often best to go for a diagonal and a big lob over the keeper. Oh, he just spewed it over the bar there. Never mind. This looks smoother than the last time you played it. What, on a previous stream? Or, um... Or do you mean the first match we did? Tonight. Because I'm sure I, I haven't changed any settings. What a goal by Barkley! There you go. There you go. That's good. Alright, okay. Oh, 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 come on, take it. Oh, bloody Italians. 
Half time. There we go. England 2 1 in the lead again. There you go. Let's see if we can smash in this half. There is actually a setting, Brian, to change how the scrolling works. Um, I think you can make the scrolling faster, but it makes it rougher. And it's already pretty rough at the moment. You get those jagged edges at the side of the screen and stuff. Um, so you can, have a, you can play around with that option. What I've seen, it doesn't make a huge difference. Oh, oh just off the post there. That was going in. That was going in. Come on, tackle him. Oh. oh, good tackle. Oh, no. Then Barkley fouls. That's our goal scorer. Yellow card to Barkley. Right. Damn it. I was trying to, I was trying to team myself up there for a long-range shot. <gasps> The Italians have scored! It's 2 all. Would a GX version be a lot better? Yeah, I suppose they could use a hard, proper hardware scrolling and not CRTC tricks, which is clearly what this is using. Oh, not, a bad, not a bad go there. But how long's left in the match? It's on the 60th minute. Oh, why, why, why did why did it switch to that other player? I don't know. I meant switch control. Maybe what the game needs is like an arrow over the head of the player that's currently with the ball. That would make things a little easier because sometimes I just can't make out who's got the ball and who hasn't. Come on. Oof it down the pitch. Oh, what's going on here? Keeper saves. It's still two all. We're on the edge of our seats here. <laughs> oh, and he spooned it wide. Hey, Mr. Neil Lovely. Good evening, Neil. How are you doing, my friend? How's your day been? And Neil's been coming up with some great suggestions for Am Streams. Thank you, Neil. <gasps> what a goal by Barkley. England go 3-2 ahead in the final, in the Euro Finals. Oh, oh, what was that? What was that, Harry Kane? How you doing, Neil? <laughs> You're doing okay. Good to hear, man. Good to hear. Okay is better than not okay. Oh. No, no, don't let them... S don't let them score. Oh, no, they're through again. Oh, God. Pickford did well there. Oh, a diving header there. I didn't know you could do diving headers in this. And that is full time. England win the Euros. Three goals to two. Again by a 1-0 lead. So there you go. I, I predict England will win the European Championship Finals by one goal. It'll either be 2-1 or it'll be 3-2. GG's. There we go. Oh, you're busy with moving at the moment. Where are you moving to, Neil? Any, any, uh, get, get getting a nicer house or something? There we go. Full time there. And the match facts there. 52% possession to England there. Italy had more shots on goal, though. There we go. What a great game CPC Soccer is. I heartily, heartily recommend it for everyone. Right, guys. I'm just going to take a very, very quick break to get a drink. So I'll finish my can of pop. I'll be back in like one minute anyway. Um, so, it is now time for your Amstrad CPC game requests for the rest of the evening and night to, to just chill out to. 
Are you going to stay in a local hotel for two weeks? Really, Neil? Yikes. That's, uh, ooh, that's not good. Are you getting a bungalow near me? Okay. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Right, so uh, put your requests in the chat. Oh, GP, are you off? All right, no worries, mate. Take care, dude. Good night. Have a lovely weekend. And thank you for the dono earlier as well. Bless you, man. Mwah. Stay out my bins. Right. World Cup Carnival. That's not happening. So, uh, ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, put your game requests in the chat. And um, I'll see what they are when I come back. I'll only be one minute, okay? So to get a drink and just uh, step outside just for a minute. And, um, yeah, I'll look forward to seeing what your game requests are. All right? I will be right back. I'll put the music volume up for you. All right, guys and girls, I'm back. Thank you uh, for sticking with us as well. It's very kind of you all. Um, let's see what the chat has been requesting. So we've got a request for Power Tetris. Interesting. That's a pub public domain game as well, actually. I don't know if I want to do it after Dr. Mario. I don't know. Hmm, don't know. I could do something slightly different to that. And so I'm definitely not doing World Cup Carnival. Knock! God. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Metro Cross. Oh, we were recently playing the arcade version and Ant Stream. Um, for those of you that come on the Twitch streams, um, yeah, I think we were, weren't we? Um, I might have a look at that. Can I request a Code Master Simulator? You can indeed, Brian. Second vote for Power Tetris. Oh, two votes for Power Tetris. Fair enough. Fair enough. Hammer Fist. No idea what it's like, but I keep seeing it on eBay. Yeah, there's loads of copies of Hammer Fist about. Um, I'll have a think of that one. Tri Triaxos. Interesting. Some of these are going to write down. I like the idea of Metro Cross, especially because it's for Mrs. Schultz. Um, Power Tetris. Um, maybe Hammer Fist. I think we have had a, we have had a look at it before. Uh, Triaxos. I'll write a few of them down that stand out. Italia 90. Uh, no more football games, I think. No more football games, probably. 
Uh, request for Zeppelin International Tennis Wimbledon final on Sunday. None of your beers. Hey, how are you doing? None of you beers. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind checking that out. Actually, that's not a bad idea. Actually, who dares wins too? Do you know what, Neil? If you're still around later on the stream, because I have played that so much on stream, I won't do it now. But maybe later on, like, when we're getting towards the end of the stream, just to chill out to you. I might have a go at that. If you're still here, recommend it again. Hey, Jason uh, Retro, welcome to the stream. Um, I believe it's, uh, there's lots of Jason, so I get I get mixed up. If this is your, is this your first time here in the chat? So let us know. We'll give you a nice big welcome. Uh, Brian says, can we see Speed Rumbler? I have never heard of that before, so I'm adding that on the list. Um, nice to see Amsterdam on the stream. Oh, right, this is your first time here. So, yeah, we do the Am stream uh, every Friday, starting at 9 o'clock. We're always here. So, I also do uh, Twitch streams as well in the week. Uh, we do, Every other week, we probably do Amsterdam on a Monday as well, along with like, other systems like Specky, Commodore 64, Atari 8-bit, Amiga, and sort of DOS gaming as well sometimes. Look, can everyone tag uh, Jason Retro and give him a big hello and welcome to the stream here. We'd like to welcome and make new people feel very much at home here. Uh, are there any other NES clone or famous clone game? Ooh, I'll let the chat. I'll, I'll let the chat decide on that one and, and uh, put their suggestions in for that one. Um, hey, Mr. Pete Walker. Going to pull out a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. Won't be on the Amstreet next week. Mobile half. Oh, mate. Yeah. Um, you're a half mum's funeral, isn't it? Yeah, sorry to hear that, dude. Um, I got you. You can't go, but rather a private day on my own. No worries, mate. Totally understand, P. Anyway, you try and enjoy this weekend. Enjoy the footy as well on Sunday, and we'll see you soon. Take care. The legend that is Pete Walker. All right, okay. Right. We've got a few games there. Two requests for power churches. Let's see if I've got actually got it. I do have it. Oh. Okie dokie. All right, then, let's have a look at Power Tetris. It's a Capcom game. I thought, uh, Brian, I thought you were after a Codemaster simulator. Uh, or have I got you mixed up with someone else there? Uh, called Mad Gear, which is the name of the gang from Final Fight. Um, what, 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 what game are you referring to, Brian? Is, is it called Mad Gear? I'm pretty sure that's not on the Amstrad. Yeah, let me know if there's a different one. Farb oder Grün Monitor. Ah, Farb must be colour, right, in German. Uh, I've, I'll put Nark on the list, um, Neil. It's not blood, It's not great, though. <laughs> but good night, Pete. OSG says, I've just come back from putting new style game into bed, but once to say that, after playing every football game of CC for the last two days, that CPC soccer beats them all, even Emlyn and Mike propose. That's really good of you to say so, OSG. You know, <clears throat> I, I, I've always been very honest in saying that, like, um, at Micropro Soccer on the Commodore 64 beats all other 8-bit football games. But I love CPC Soccer. It, it's utterly crazy um, and utterly broken in places. But it's such damn good fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Viewers went down to 37, then back up to... 50 what what's going on 69 watching currently right okay all right my stat software is broken fantastic anyway doesn't matter doesn't matter anyway right um did you not play speed rumbler in the tubers i scored challenge i it's a great game no no that was before my time i think so uh okay anyway let's have a look at power tetris then all right we'll do one one oh it's music Um, I remember this was considered the best Tetris, the best version of Tetris on the Amstrad. At least up until we got the Tetris emulator last year. Maggie equals LED Storm. Oh! Yeah, we've tried playing that a few times on the stream. It's broken in most emulators. I think we sort of half got it working in the CPCEC emulator. I think that's going to feature on a... Um, Arcade to Amstrad soon, hopefully. Hey, German, take care, man. 
Uh, take care, dude. Good night, mate. You got well, no, you got work early tomorrow. Take care, man. Have a great weekend and enjoy the footy on Sunday if you're watching. As I, I did request speed rumber, but I think the arcade version was called Mad Gear. I did request the Co-Master Simulator so often I didn't want to bore the chat. <laughs> oh, that's okay, dude. Uh, so I think you mean LED Storm if you see Mame Haynes' message. I'll have a think on that one because we've had problems getting that running because it uses a weird CRTC trick to strong screen and it breaks most emulators. Right, let's just start the game. Oh, no, music in game. Okay, we'll put our own on then. Oh, that, that moves smoothly down, didn't it? Oh, I like this. It's a shame it's missing music, but I like how smooth that is. Yeah, it controls how it should do. Oh, but yeah. Oh, we're going to get a Tetris here. Oh, not quite. We need to have another... Uh, okay, yeah, do that there. Hopefully, we have we have screwed up a little bit. Let's let's move this down. Hey, there you go. This is great. I like the colours on this as well. It's not too bad on the eyes. It's a bit bright. <laughs> I can see why this is regarded as like the best Tetris game on the Amstrad. Uh, at least up until uh, the Tetris emulator came out anyway, last year. Uh, arse. You go there. Go there. This is great. Uh, I know it's not... I don't know if it's fun watching someone else play Tetris on a stream. But holy poop, this is good. It's a shame it doesn't have any music. It's got some basic sound effects, but hey, <clears throat> by the way, guys, this was a public domain release. What that means is, at the time, um, they called it public domain. And it meant that, um, oh, I've screwed up here, haven't I? Um, what public domain meant was that you join a join a distribution list, you'd pay for the the cost of to, of postage, and they'd send you a disc or a tape full of like basically free software, free games, and this was one of them. So for a freebie, this is bloody good. Yeah, I, I know I screwed up here. Oh well. Just have to clear this down as quick as we can. This controls... The controls on this, guys, are perfect. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. That's good. Build you there. Build you up there. You go there. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. Where we could sort that. Yeah, it allows for like tight movements like that. That's good. I'm gonna have to put that there. It's not great, but it'll do. I mucked up a bit there. Oh! <laughs> Oh, okay. I, I was, I, I could call it there. That is a bloody, bloody good version of Tetris. That is really, really good. I think my view count's got stuck again. I don't know what's going on tonight with uh, OBS or Streamlabs. Right, that's better. There you go. Um, there you go. That is Power Tetris, and that is utterly, utterly great. Um. There you go. Let me know what you think of that in the chat there. Are you going to give that a try yourself? You can download it from the Secret Power website. But um, 
So this was public domain, Neil, at the time. It was called at the time. So it's a free, like, basically it's a free homebrew game. It wasn't sold for any money. It was made uh, um, by home home bedroom coders in Germany. Very, very good. Uh, Mamo says the LED, uh, LED LED storm scrolling is ugly even on real CPC hardware. I'm not sure the emulators are as broken as you think. I think it just has a horrible flick at the top and bottom. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd have to double check that, but it was unplayable on Win8 last time I tried it. Uh, it featured on the cover tape cover disc of a German magazine in 1991, I think. Oh, cool, cool. I I'm sure you could get it through public domain eventually as well after that. Oh, <laughs> Craig's cat is farting on him. <laughs> you know how I feel when my cat comes in the office, farts, then leaves then. You've seen it on stream before, I think. I watched the Texas World Championship and it was seriously entertaining stuff. Oh, well, at that, like, he that high level, they're just like, bang, 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 bang. And like, yeah, it's nuts. I've seen some of that footage, yeah. Looks very good, looks very good. It was serviceable, says Warzord. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. All right, for Manuel, we're going to fire up some Metro Cross, which uh, I've always had a... I've always had a liking to this one. Um, arcade conversion. I think we haven't. I don't think we featured it on Arcade to Amstrad, so it might well feature soon. Oh, music! Small Games Girl was a really big fan of Clack. Spent ages on it. Looks good. I could never get into Clack. Oh, this is a bit loud. Let me turn that down. I could never get into Clack. I I tried really hard. It just I don't. There's something about it. it I. Initially, it feels like really good and really fun, and then after the first two or three levels, um, I get fed up of it. I don't know. I don't know. I lose interest. Ah, oh, cool niche. Thank you for confirming I'm correct there. Oh, I forgot to do something. Um, um I was hoping um, Moritz was going to be in the chat tonight. He said he might be, but I haven't seen him tonight. So, do you remember when we played Moritz the Striker? Um, the other a few weeks ago on on the Amstream, which is a brand new Amstrad game, and we had really good fun with it. That was that little doggy that was a football player for Liverpool, if you remember. And it had like really good music and stuff. Um, well, the coder was like so happy because I don't think anyone else had really like uh, bothered to show off his games like we did uh, on the stream um, before. He said he said he made some games for the ZX Spectrum and. Spectrum community was a bit hostile and rude to him, but he was so happy with the Amstream and the community here. It says you guys were really, really lovely and friendly, and uh, he had such a good time on there. And it was a nice tribute and send off to his real dog Moritz, who sadly passed away recently. So um, he was really touched by everyone's kind words about his game and stuff. So he sent me a little gift, and I think this is really, really cool. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is actually a tin. Can you see that? There's the Moritz the dog artwork. It's actually in a tin. I've kind of... Oops, hang on. Oh, it's something moved inside and it's... Ah, spring it open. Hang on. Anyway, so there you go. There's Moritz the dog tin. And inside the tin... Are you, are you watching? Wait for this. You see that? First of all, there's a little Moritz badge, right? Not only that. He's only the, the only two of these have been made, but a Moritz the dog, the X4000 car. He sent me that as a thank you. He said he made two. He got two made. He's kept one for himself, and he said you can have the other copy. Isn't that really sweet of him? Really kind. And how awesome is that? Especially it comes in. It comes in this tin as well. And it says when he. he <laughs> His plan was to make physical copies of Moritz the dog on cassette and distribute them inside tins or something like that. I think that's a really nice idea, actually. But that, that's really, really cool. So I've got a very, very rare GX4000 cart there now. Only one of two in the world. So that's really, really cool. Thank you, Moritz. Um, if you're watching, uh, perhaps on Catch Up tomorrow, because he says he watches all the streams now or something, I think. So thank you very, 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 very much, my friend. That is really, really lovely and kind of you. So cheers. That's great, isn't it, guys? What, what a lovely community we have. I, I don't know if I should be saying how much I should be saying, but let's just say he's not very happy with the Spectrum community. 
but has been very happy with the Amstrad community. And he says, I think he's hinted to me that he's been inspired to write more Amstrad games and sod the spectrum, <laughs> basically. But that's cool. That's cool. GG's. Um, hey, Novaborg, welcome back. Oh, I know you've been lurking, haven't you? Haven't you? Yeah. It is an awesome gift, that. Yeah. yeah nice gesture. Thank you, uh, Ignition Magic Knight there. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yee. You're a bit jealous, Robin. Oh, sorry. You've got some stuff I'm jealous of as well. Will that be as rare as Chase HQ2? <laughs> well, at least you can go and play the game for free. You know, download it from CPC Power and from Morris's site and stuff like that. Um, no one has yet to play Chase HQ2 apart from the two bloody owners out there. Hey, Tazong, how you doing, man? And Nivrig, good evening, dude. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. All right, we're going to play some Metro Cross for Mrs. Schultz, Manuel's wife, and, and lovely missus. Let's pause my music there. Um, hopefully this works. Uh, one for joystick, two for one player. Should be some good tunes in this. So, this is an arcade conversion. Oh, I was just showing you that you could jump, and he actually knocked me over there. So, you've got to reach the end zone as quickly as possible in this. Like the music there. Those grey bits on the floor slow you down, so you have to jump them. There we go. Stop the timer there. You can kick them ahead. Whee! Oh! Yeah, decent animation there. And this is a, actually a very accurate and good port of Metro Cross from the arcade. The only thing is, the frame rate isn't great. And it starts to hurt my eyes after a bit. Other than that, this is bloody great. See, just caught a bit of the grey there, it just slowed you down. There we go, reach the end zone. And he puffs out of breath. Really good, fairly accurate conversion from the arcades here. Skateboard for the win, yes. Hey, Christian Tom Ford, welcome to the Amstream, my friend. How are you doing? We want that skateboard. And if you squash the cans, it will stop the timer. There you go. Not for long, though. Oh, there's a skateboard. Whee! A uh, green can makes you go super fast. Even over the grey areas as well. Oh, and I got flattened. Another skateboard. Uh, I don't think it plays as fast as the arcade. But it's not much in it. Not much in it. Oh, I missed the green can. Damn. I took my eye off to look at the chat there. So I'll pause it after this level and I'll catch up with the chat. Bloody hell, this level's long. There you go. Definitely pretty darn accurate to the arcade original. Yes. Just going to pause it there a second. Because I saw some people arriving in the chat. So let's say hello to... Again, hello to Christian Tom Ford. Good to know you, sir. Welcome, welcome. Um, uh, Mr. Neil Simpson, hello again as well. I think I'm sure I said hello to you earlier. That's how fast I run whenever I find myself in Kilmarnock. Okay, fair enough. 
Um, hey, Anna Apocalypse Zero. Anna, how are you doing, Anna? So, how so, one and all? Hello, and I hope you're all well. Also, my spuds are. You what's what's with your spuds, Anna? What? <laughs> yes, register Coke cans, probably Texy. Yeah. Oh, your spuds are cooking. Yes, it's 26 degrees in my office at the moment. Even the fan on full blast and the doors open. Yikes. Hey, Barry Roadworld, a.k.a. Malamut. Good evening, sir. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yes, the frame is a little choppy, but this one looks like it'd be played in quick blast. Indeed. Oh! Oh, Manuel, you didn't have to, dude. Oh, bless you, Manuel Schultz. Holy crap, with the 20 Swiss francs. Oh, my God. Right, you get all the dancing sugars for that. Can we see bananas raining in the chat for Manuel there? Thank you, Manuel. That's really, really kind of you, dude. Whoa. <laughs> you know, I'm happy to play your request, dude. Uh, you know, no need to, like, uh, do a dono or anything. But thank you, my friend. Thank you very, very, very much. That's extremely kind of you. And thank you, Mrs. Schultz, as well. You probably had permission to do that. <laughs> thank you. Oh, mate. And thank you, everyone, for the bananas in the chat there. Did I miss uh, anyone there? Let's just see there. Hang on a second. Um, hey, Nish. No worries, mate. Leave me a game request for another stream. You can have it next if you want, Nish. Um, but, um, okay, if you got to go, you got to go. No worries. Let me know if you change your mind. We can do it after Metro Cross. No problem at all. But uh, good night, mate, if you are. And have a great weekend. Take care. CPC Game Reviews. Mmm. Yeah, pretty damn accurate. Yeah. I don't think you could leave the Norbrek in a worse state than you find it. Yes. <laughs> but we're tempted. We're tempted to stay at the Norbrek. I think me and Mrs. Ifo. Um. Right, okay. Pause the music there. Let's give this a level a go. How's tricks, Anna? Anyway, what have you been up to in your cave of doom? interesting you land past the next oh no not quite not quite oh yeah they so jump way past the next springboard which is a bit odd or not in this case there eh? damn Magical 464 there. <laughs> What's that? Let me read that out. I think the text is for you to work. No need to dono to get a request. You tell us this now. <laughs> How about some doodle bug whilst I am here? <laughs> you don't need to, Craig. You know if you ask, you'll probably get it. D um, Craig, I'm adding it to the list now. Was that do doodle doodle bug? Thank you. And let the bananas rain down. <laughs> The lovely Craig's bar there. Thank you, man. That's really, really kind of you, dude. You uh, do too much. Thank you, man. Thank you very, very much. Um, oh, Jimmy, you're going to play Expo. Nice. We'll get to meet you there then, hopefully. I haven't got my ticket yet. Wait to hear from Retro Bloody Unlim. What's happening? Steve, let me know what's going on. But uh, Craig, thank you, my friend. I've added it to the list. If you're going to bed at any point, Craig, do let me know. Uh, cause it's in, uh, I've got a few games listed there, so uh, I'll just try and balance it out as best as possible. But, uh, thank you, Craig Bar. Ah, oh, just jumping there. So yeah, this level is about hitting as many of those trampolines as you can. Oh. Not enough, but he won't. He won't get past the time limit. Oh! Did that save time by going backwards to get that trampoline? Maybe. 
It is a shame the frame rate isn't great here. There you go. I remember when Norbrick was the poshest hotel on the fly, uh, Fylde Coast. I said that 20 years ago and it was about £90 a night. Bloody hell. I mean, it's like £105 a night for the cheapest room there. Oops. Oh, wasn't there a bug on this level? Yeah, I think if you go in here... Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's not quite. Hang on, we can jump through it, though. Look at this! We discovered this on an AM stream years ago. Let's keep jumping. <laughs> oh! Oh, I'll get caught there though. Right, okay. So we have to jump that. <laughs> we even get the skateboard. Amazing. £105 a night at the Norbrek. Oh, we get caught by that. Alright, so we're just going to keep jumping to the level like this. We should be good. Just keep jumping then. <laughs> there you go. It's a bloody rip off, hundred and five pounds a night the Norbrek for what you're getting. That doesn't. I don't think that even includes breakfast, does it? Oh, I've still got the the green can power up active. What? Ass, ass, ass. That carried over to this level. Interesting. Me, little git. Oh, wrecked. You can do my game last, Sifo. It's bad. Sometimes I like checking out bad games, Neil. It's fun to it's fun to have a look at bad games. So yeah, we'll see. Wait for one of those skylight things, or whatever. Or whole, I, I don't know what they are. Like it's like a glass and glass bit of the floor that you fall through. Wait for one of them to spawn at the very bottom there and we'll go in it and we can cheese our way through the rest of the level. But it's not spawning on this level. Oh, awesome. Hey, tall ball! TP house tricks, dude! Joined as a... Uh... Hey, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to concentrate here. I'll catch up with the church just after this level. Ass. I might be out here. 30 seconds left. We're going really slow. What close. Cool. Stop the timer there. There's one of those things, but we need it right at the bottom. No. Oh, go, go. Oh. I stopped the timer there. Is it going to be enough? Oh, I got fried right at the end there. Rip. Ah. Oh. There you go, that was Metro Cross there, that's cool. 
Now the Norbrek is like Castle Grey School while being occupied with Skeletorius paddies. Pretty much, pretty much. £110 for a drafty room of sticky floors and dead seagulls on the windowsills. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Brian says, I've stumped up 210 so far, not a sniff of brekkie. I know, like, like, you pay for a hotel room. Like, last time I stayed at a hotel room, to be fair, was a long time ago. But you expect breakfast. Like, that was just like something came with your room. You get your room and breakfast at a hotel, right? Am I wrong? I thought that was always a thing. No, Norbrek, it's like you have to pay extra for a crappy, miserable excuse of a breakfast. Uh, hey, Torpoles, join us like I said, we even get the skateboard. Must have been, must have been written. Evening all. Okay, why, are you a skateboarder, Torpoles, or something? I don't know. Or, what, what, what have I missed there? Welcome, though, dude. Hope all is good with you. You have to pay extra for the dead seagull. <laughs> Roasted dead seagull. You can roast it on the outside your window there. There, job done. Stick up the bum. Kebab, uh, seagull kebab. Roast it on a... With a lighter under underneath, it'll only take like ten hours. Mike ZT, Mike ZT with five euros through the super chat. Oh, thank you, Sean. Thank you. He says, uh, "Man, shovel, shavers all, and beer on Anna and Simmy. I'm drunk anyway." Mike ZT's been having a few bevies, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give him some potassium. Let's give him some bananas. Bananas in the chat for Mike ZT. Mike, thank you very, very, very much, mate. Thank you, dude. That's very kind of you. Oh, look at all those bananas there. There you go. There you go. <laughs> hey, my pleasure, Manuel. I um, hope you enjoy that. And, and uh, Mrs. Schultz as well. Thank you for the dodo as well, dude. It's very kind. If you're stranded on a desert, desert island, I'd probably roast a seagull gladly. Yeah. Seagulls and pigeons can. Um, all the other birds, in this, all the other species of birds, lovely. I, I won't touch them. Seagulls and pigeons, I'd quite gladly shove a stick right up its. Hate them, hate them. Right, okay, so that was Metrocross. Um, let's have a look at um, a game I, I was interested in because I, 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 I think I have heard of this. Craig, we might do yours after this one, actually, Craig. But this one, I can't remember who requested this now. Triaxos. Triaxos. I've heard of this one. I can't remember it, so I'm interested because uh, if it's a game that's not familiar, it could be a uh, hidden gem, potentially. Certainly a game that we haven't played on stream much, so oh. that didn't look right at all, did it? Probably the wrong file. Um Which file to run here? AS? Let's try that. <laughs> Bay base. Albatross? Um, would I roast an albatross? Hang on, is it unlucky if you're a sailor? If you're on the, if you're going on a boat? Oh, what's my music here? So this is in, from 1987 by Pensoft. Never heard of this. Let's have a look at this on CPC Wiki. Triaxos. Oh, it's from Areola Soft. Oh god, is this a um, bloody isometric game? I'll, I'll show you the box art here. There you go. Tracks is the ultimate in high security orbital prison, so it's the only man capable of activating the most powerful weapon in the galaxy. Your mission to use a combination of cunning and brutal aggression to bring the prisoner out alive. And you've only have 30 minutes to find him and return to your ship. Okay. Lovely. There you go. Nipple soft, yeah. I know, it sounds too close to Areola. Yeah. I hear pigeon tastes like chicken. 
Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Zypo, are you still up and in the chat? Because you've got a great story about your granddad, haven't you, and a pigeon. Right, press fire to play. Let's just get into this then. Oh god, it's it's an isometric game. Oh, the controls are different to um, uh, what do you call it? Head over heels. Right, I've picked up a thing. Uh, it's nice and colourful. You've got a cube there at the top of the screen that's cha having colours changed on it. I don't know. I quite know what that means. Arse! Arse! Okay, I think we're escaping a prison then, are we? Or something like that. A, pri a space prison. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's like a teleporter. I thought it might be. Oh, the cube marks, uh, re cube represents the map. Uh, your position is marked in red. Hey, Arnie. I'm surprised. Oh, you know this one then. And Matt Myers. Good evening, dude, as well. Um, the bloody isometric game. I know, you know my feelings on them, guys. <laughs> They're okay, they just don't tickle my fancy much. Um, and the UK Monkey, good to see you again, dude. That's the great thing about having computers, really. Even if you own one since 94, there's always thousands of hidden gems you've never seen. Indeed. We're going to have to do another hidden gem stream again soon. Definitely. We're allowed to do that again. Uh, maybe next week. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, look, glowing dildo, says Anna. <laughs> How rude. Matt Myers, how's it going as well, dude? Welcome, welcome. I hope it's all good. Mm, where is he shooting bullets from? That is a good question because he's not holding a gun. It seems to be coming from his middle lower regions. Mm. Right. I suspect it's a good so no. Okay, Adam's told me then. <laughs> you had about this that had this when I joined him. It wasn't a gem. Fair enough. Alright, so what's happening here? Oh, okay, I, I have to press a, di a direction. Okay. That's just taking me back to the same room, right? This is where we just come from, isn't it? Okay. Where, where the frick do we go now then? That's a dead end. Oh, I think we've got some dynamite or something. I can see bottom left corner. Uh, you have bombs which can blow holes in floors and walls to find secret rooms. I just, uh, I wonder what the controls are for that. So there must be... All right, what's the controls then? Hang on. Let me just pause up there. And maybe you wanted to drop a bomb against that door to blow it open? I don't know. Uh, to drop an object, press fire until the object is highlighted in the bottom line. Set an object, move right and press fire again. Okay. Right, that's what the controls say. So we need to hold down. 
yet. Oh! Oh! It's blown a hole in the floor. Oh no. Okay. So we're in a room we can't escape out of. So let's try blowing up again. Oh. Oh. Are we trapped here? How do you know where you can place a bomb? Or am I soft lock? Oh! Well, that was lucky! Okay. So how do you know where you can place a bomb? Um Hey Tom Davies as well, welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Is, it, is this like this is like into oblivion meets gets gets Dexter, but in a bad way. Oh, right. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, trying to sense the walls, to be honest. Okay. Right, we'll try it here. That seemed to work before. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, God, it's another dead end. Uh, and we're actually at the bottom, aren't we? So we've got to blow a hole in a wall. Let's try here. Uh, we've only got two bits of dynamite left, so... When the map in the corner shows you... Uh, well, we can't go any further here, can we? Because we're at the edge of the playing field. I can't... I tried blowing a hole there. Nothing happened. I think I think I might... I think I might be softlocked. I think I might be softlocked. Any ideas? People have played this game. What do I do now? I've got one bomb left. I'm at the very bottom left of the playing field. If you look at the cube top right as your mark and position, right? I've tried one here. I've tried one here. No joy. That is outside the cube, this wall here. And so, and so is this wall down here. So I don't know what to do next. Any ideas, guys and girls? Any other, anyone have a clue? Otherwise, am I soft locked? Or should I just give up? Uh, I need to blow my nose again anyway. Let me just mute the microphone. Right, there you go. Cypher, so take a walk in the woods. How's that going to help here? Is there woods in this game? How about world class rugby to tie in with the British Lions tour maybe in a few weeks? All right, then we have a good, uh, I'm sure we'll have a request night again in a few weeks. We often do them anyway. Um, yeah, we could do that then. Uh, what a game of Spy vs. Spy. I'd love to. I've tried... Um, um, should I try another... Should I, I've got one stick of dynamite left, guys. Where should I use it? Here? No. No. So I'm now soft locked. And there's nothing I can do, right? Uh, but yeah, I could do world class rugby in a week or two or something like that. Yeah, definitely. Dude looks like he's in scuba gear. He does actually. Oh! Oh, Manuel, another! Oh, bless you, man! Let's see the bananas in the chat one more time for Manuel Schultz. 
the 664 through the super chat. Let's go. Let's see the bananas rain down. Thank you, dude. Thank you very, very, very much. She says, thanks for the awesome show. Good night, everybody, for, and all I love from Switzerland. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you very, very, very much, Manuel. That is very kind of you. For two 664s as well, man. Thank you. And for your support on, in the AM squad and stuff. So, cheers, matey. Thank you. I take it you're um, off now or will be soon. Oh, yes, yeah, it's good night. So, good night, Manuel. Have an awesome weekend, you and Mrs. Schultz. Enjoy the campfire, and we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs> Right, um, no one, no one can help me here, so we'll move on from Triaxis. I tried. You get a gist of it there, but I think you end up soft locked, and I don't like games where you can get soft locked in. It's like always bad game design to me. That is so. Um, yeah, that is Triaxis, and it's all right. All right then, for Mr. Craig's bar, let's have a look at Doodlebug. I think I've played this before, actually. But a long, long time ago. Oh. Well, that's nicely presented. It from Pete Wiseman. Pete Wiseman. Was he the guy that did um, that Killer Cobra game? The one that's like a Scramble clone or Super Cobra clone? That was bloody great. Oh, press S or L to lo save load scores. Oh, this looks like a clone of... Um, is it Ladybug? Mame Hazel know it. Oh, this looks good. What does R, S and P do? Is it R to reverse controls or something? Or... Oh, they're letters. You click them to spell out special and extra at the top there. I see. Oh, this looks cool. I like this. Uh, yes, Ladybug. Right. Okay. Get ready. Let's go. I don't know what those jingles are about, but... What, what? I was wondering why I wasn't being chased there. I have played this before. This is, this is actually really good. I keep forgetting about this one. So, is there no power-ups in this, or have I essentially already used the power-ups? Hey! Okay. There we go. This is kind of fun. Oh! Oh, I got wrecked. I don't know if P stood for power up. There's a tiny, tiny bit of lag on the controls. Oh no! I went to turn left there. Okay, got the death march there. I'm sure that didn't that jingle didn't play before when I died. There we go. Okay. Um, so far, I mean, the level layouts have stayed the same, but the placement of the pickups has changed. 
Do the hearts do anything special? Do you know, Craig? Oh, 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 okay, okay. Ass. Game over. That's cool. That's a good version of Ladybug, that is. Oh, right. And you get a high score table. This is really nicely presented. I like this. Um, I, I don't know if I, I feel that this gets a bit samey after a while. And I'd get bored of it. I don't know. But initial impressions are actually quite good, actually, of this one. Yeah. Um, let's catch up with the chat there. What do people think to that one then? It says it's very nice to look. It says Matt Myers. I wish he says get the Punisher icon. Oh, you must be talking to someone else, I think. Uh, um, if there's any bit of the Amsterdam version on YouTube, Xyphos would be the first. Really? Okay, cool. Because, oh yeah, we have played this on an Amstream, but maybe it's not getting indexed by YouTube on the searches, but... Tom Davis says, I played Ladybug on the arcade a lot once when I was a kid. How does this compare to it, Tom, if you remember? <laughs> Zyper, the more I see you playing games, the more scared I am for the semi-finals. Why? I've been doing rubbish tonight. <laughs> you should be getting more and more confident. I'm not doing great in these. Uh, swing doors remind me of the honeycomb maze of Takeshi's castle. Yes! Yes, I know exactly what you mean, Neil. Um, he explains to the Coleco vision. Welcome back, Retro on Lim. How are you doing? He's on his break, I guess. This is a newish. No, this isn't a new. Uh, this one isn't a new game. Uh, uh, Matt, which one are you referring to? That jigger sounds very much like when Donkey Kong climbs a ladder. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't know what the hearts do. The letters only count or special and an extra when they're in the right colour. Oh, so you have to wait for them to change colour, Craig. Do they change colour? I think they do. Right, I'll have a look at that next time. Remember, gave footage of Galactic Team on YouTube uh, to include a video by Zypher himself. Okay, so. Mr. Lewis Wado! How you doing, buddy? The lovely Lewis. With a 499. Through the super chat there. Oh, bless you, Lewis. Can we go nuts with the bananas in the chat? Why's my music stopped? Is it not working? Oh, all right, it's at the end of the song. Lewis, thank you very, very, very much. Let the bananas rain down there. Thank you, Lewis. That's extremely generous of you again. Thank you, Lou. How you doing, man? Welcome. Welcome. And do you have Ladybird in your arcade? Because we're playing a very, very good Ladybird clone here. And what's new with you, Lewis? What have you been working on today? <laughs> All right. We'll give this another go. Get ready. Right, do they ever change colour, the letters? Oh, reds, yes. They... Oh. So, spe... R... we need to wait for that R to turn yellow, don't we? Gotcha, Craig. Right, okay. Oh! Oh, poop. It changed really quickly there. Blue. Red. I see. If you get them as blue, it increases the boat. Oh, oh, it turns to yellow there.
That seems to, if you get them in the blue, it seems to be increasing a bonus thing there. Oh no! I thought I was safe there for a second. I wasn't. Oh, that green thing that's going around the border there, changing from green to white, is the timer. The release of the crab or whatever the hell it is. Right. Let's pause it there a second. Lewis says, I'm shattered. Uh, we do have a ladybug. Not on the floor, though. We need that and carnival, in my opinion, Zypher. Oh, yes. Get carnival for Charlie Farr. You know, Charlie, a streamer, and um, he goes for world records. He's been cu currently streaming and trying to get the world record in carnival. Have you seen that? Uh, yeah. Oh, Retro Bus has played ladybug at Arcade Club Leeds. There you go. Oh. Apparently, Matt Commander says there's an uncredited awesome version for the Commodore 64 as well. There's something in that. I'd love to do a stream of, like, unofficial ports and conversions of arcade games. Like, we're talking about Killer Cobra a minute ago, which is basically Super Cobra, like Scramble on the Amstrad. Um, but, uh, excuse me. Oh, excuse me. We've got Fruity Frank, which is kind of like, is it Mr. Do or what's the other one that's very similar? You know what I mean, guys. I'd like a list of, if anyone, anyone's got a list of them, that'd be very, very good. I'd like to do a whole am stream on that. At least the multiplier works it unlike Bomb Jack. Is the multiplier and Bomb Jack, the Amstrad Bomb Jack broken? I didn't, I didn't know that. Neil's going to start designing, printing an Amstrad looking arcade stick. I wonder if it's better to do it with keys or a joystick. What do you think? Uh, what for this game, Neil, or just generally? Oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Connor was at least. I'm trying to get it over to Barry for Charlie's iPhone. Are you? Oh, so you know Charlie well, do you, Lewis? Mr. Brian Hooper. Good night, dude. Take care, man. Lovely to have you here, as always, Brian. And uh, hopefully catch you soon, matey. Take care. Right, let's try and get these specials. So we need the R when it's yellow. Did we get it? I don't think we did. Oh! I'm trying to... No! Right, let's just get as much of this as we can. I, s I guess the le levels get harder with the uh, bugs chasing you getting faster, I guess. Um, more schools on the playing field. Uh, we need that T when it's yellow. Uh, we've already got the R, so we don't need that. I guess it gives you an extra life. Extra will be for... Ah, oh! Game over. Is there a ROM for Dr. Roland's iPhone? Yes. Uh, type Dr. Roland in the chat. I'll do it for you, Neil. And it should give you a link to the website. Uh, yeah, it plays 2x, 3x, so on, bomb Jack Amstrad when you get a sparking bomb. It only gives you 200 points. The bug is also on the Spectrum version. Really? Oh. Uh, Neil says, generally, I designed a nice Mega Drive RK stuff, but I fancy one with just one or two buttons. Um, what would you need for the Amstrad one? I think you only need two buttons. But I'd love a proper ball top RK stick for the Amstrad. An Amstrad design one. And all you need is like two two buttons like that. Put the Amstrad logo, like you've got the Amstream logo there uh, on the top. A nice uh, sort of um, dark grey colour to match the colour scheme of the uh, 464, 664 and 6128. That'd be cool. There you go. If you see the link there from the Nightbots just giving you there, um, Neil. Get the Dr. Ellen game here. Uh, and there's the link. 
if you can see that. Hey, Nivrig. Uh, all right, mate. No worries going in lurk mode, but I've been watching. No worries, mate. No worries. Uh, so I've had different people playing different positions on the football team. Oh, that's what we did, Emily, last at the end of the stream last week. Yes, that was good fun. That was good fun. Um, and Charlie's ridiculous at arcade games. He, Louis says he just picks them up and just works out how to beat it. It's something like a puzzle. It's insane to watch. It's an incredibly talented gamer. Yeah, yeah, Lewis, me and Charlie have sort of become good online friends now. We've been sort of raiding each other on Twitch and uh, chatting a lot. He's been starting to get into his Amstrad as well recently, actually. <laughs> um, oh, you, uh, oh, you, uh, uh, Galactic Tomb. Gotcha. I hear, yes, I saw your message that about um, uh, they are now selling more new copies of uh, physical copies of Galactic Tomb. I should be going and buying one as soon as I can. Right, so that was um, uh, Doodlebug for Mr. Craig's Bar. I'm not very good at that at all, but hey, it was a pleasure to check it out. Um, next on the list, International Tennis, the Zeppelin game. Let's see if I've got that. Uh, I've got International 3D Tennis. I, actually, I do wonder if that, that Zeppelin game did actually make it out on the Amstrad. Let's have a look. So I can't remember who requested this. I didn't write Nate. I didn't write down names this time. Oh uh, yes, okay. We nearly played this accidentally the other week on the 3D game stream because we were looking for uh, international 3D tennis or 3D international tennis. Both with very similar names. Right. I need to download a disc of this. One second. Uh, XZC. Oh, capture code to enter. Hey, no worries, Craig. My pleasure, dude. You, you remember, you don't have to donate to get requests, but my my pleasure, my friend. Um, let me just save this quickly. Oh, I'm in the wrong folder. Crap. Uh, Craig, good night, dude. Have a great weekend, my friend, and I appreciate everything you've done for me over time as well, man. Take care, dude. Have a great weekend. And okie dokie, let's boot up this then. This is Zeppelin's International Tennis. Uh, I guess time because Wimbledon's happening at the moment. Is it the finals of Wimbledon this weekend as well, guys? So that's unfortunate timing with the Euros, that is. Not 3D tennis, horrific. Oh, we actually like, we ended up liking uh, 3D tennis, Tom. But the chat seemed quite impressed with it. Yes, it's stick men. Uh, Lewis says, Zypho, Victor Marland uh, can make a decent stick for old micros. He has done Commodore 64, Vectrex, and ZX themed arcade sticks that you can use on old hardware. Hmm. Does he also make USB ones as well? And does he have a website, Lewis, as well? Uh, you're a mod, so you can post a link in the chat, but you can you can uh, poke it, uh, push me his way another time if you just want to chill on the stream. Uh, oh, was it Bitmap Soft doing? Um, uh, I've got the name. I'm getting tired actually. Um, Rick, uh, Galactic Tomb. Did Bitmap Soft? Okay, all right. Because they were a bit bad with some sending some orders out not too long ago. So hopefully they're all right. Not seen this game before. I I'm not sure I have either. Uh, how do I select these? It's not selecting the joystick. Oh, space bar to switch between. Oh. Player one, joystick one. Okay. Singles against computer. Yes. Doubles. Right. We go. Oh, I see. It goes back to menu. Single match on the grass. Skill level. Yeah, we'll do easy then. And that must be play. Right. There you go. Okay. Black and white figures, essentially. Uh, it's obviously done in mode one. So it looks quite, looks quite neat. Oh. 
Oh, this looks all right. That's all right. So this is a budget uh, game, of course. Zeppelin or a budget house. It's not bad for a couple of quid. And especially if you've got a two-player option. Let's see if you can do chip shots or anything like that. Uh, not like that. Oh, you can loft the ball. But I didn't do it very well there. Okay, so it's got a range of moves. Right, I'm now at the top of the screen. Arse. I find it harder at the top, actually. Damn it. Hey, it actually moves about quite speedily. I'm actually quite impressed by this. The animation of the players is decent as well. Oh, finally won a point. Oh, this is me serving now. I aced him! I've just aced him again! Oh, I've just done three aces in a row. Four! Okay. I can, I, well, I can serve them in when I'm at the top of the screen. Is that out? Oh, it was out the first one, and he's just uh, blasted it past me as well. Cool. Oh, there are no pushovers. Out. Damn it. Now I'm serving. I lost that ma um, game. S Ooh, aced him. Good lord. Well, he got me back there. Oh! Oh, did you see that? You can do overhead smashes on this. Okay, that's cool. Why are there two balls? What? Where are you seeing two balls, dude? What about fish and chip shots? <laughs> okay, Matt. Um, was, uh, match point was almost... Match point is almost stick man, but it plays really well. I vaguely remember that one. Oh, man. I did a whole video on uh, Amsterdam Tennis Games many years ago, actually. Did the A to Z of tennis games on the Amstrad. Maybe time to revisit some of them. So I actually, I actually really enjoy tennis games quite a lot. I remember, was it, um, oh, what was the one on the Xbox that was really popular? Anyone remember? I keep mean, wanting to call it Top Spin, but it's not. I'm pretty sure. I had top spin tennis on the Game Boy. That was quite good. Mario tennis I loved. Oh. Oh. I aced him that way last time. Aced him back. Oh. Another race. Damn. Let's try that again. We've got to ace him. There we go. 40 30. Yay! Okay. So it looks like against the easy opponent, you can ace him every time a certain way. Oh, God. Virtue Tennis. No, it wasn't that. Could have been Top Spin. They could have reused the name. Oh. Super Tennis Champs Amiga, that was good. Ooh. No, I've not played any Amiga Tennis games. Oh, I'm really bad at returning them. These balls. Aced!
Oh! You gotta be. You gotta have super fast reflexes on this. Oh. Bloody hell! Oh, 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 I'm returning at the top of the pit. At the top there. Oh, good, good return by me there. There we go. Oh, I thought I had him there. Top spin. All oh, right. Oh, actually, no. The Game Boy game. I think of. I forget that might have been called Top Ranking Tennis. Come to think of it, then. A top spin was the tennis game on the Xbox. Yeah, that was really good. So it was top spin one and two, I think I had. I, re I really enjoyed them. Uh, yeah, I really, really enjoy uh, tennis games. I like Super Tennis on the SNES, but I didn't own it. Just playing it on a random mate's house. So yeah, it was top spin. Top spin. Yeah, that was great. Um. Right. Uh, I'm still confused why you, my, my tall poor you think there's two balls on <laughs> in the game. Uh, but yeah, it's a good, 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 good animation here. Good animation. I'm actually quite enjoying this. It, it is lacking in presentation though, which you'd expect from a budget game. But it plays as well, uh, it plays well, well enough to be a full price game. Ace. I think they upped the presentation, had a bit of crowd sharing, maybe some umpires and all that, ball boys and all that. Maybe animate the crowd, have some music in between bits or whatever. This could have been a real winner. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No, I got the points there. Cool. Oh, no, he did. I must have knocked the ball out. Damn. It'd be nice to get an actual proper rally on the go. There we go. Oh! Oh, did I get that? No, it went miles out. Arse. Arse! And he, lo and he lobbed me there. He can do lobs and uh, 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 chips and all that. It's a shadow of the ball. Bit drunk and play more attention to chat. Oh! I see, TP. It's the shadow of the ball that's confusing you. <laughs> shadow of the ball sounds like a porno. Oh, God. Maybe it's a porno remake of Shadow of the Beast. That's what. That's where my head's going, Anna. I don't, I don't, I don't know if there's something wrong with me, too. <laughs> Damn it. It is really hard to get a good rally on the go. Do you know what? It actually moves too fast, actually. Maybe. I don't know. Or the pitch. The, uh, not the pitch. Yeah, you call it a tennis pitch, don't you? Um, it, Everything needs to be a bit bigger, maybe. I don't know. Right. Hey! Aced him. My advantage. He's starting to return them. That one was always give, giving me an ace last time. Damn, the ball always ends up hitting me. Ace. Man, yeah, the ball just goes too fast. Ace. 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 There you go. Conan the Bumberry. <laughs> Is that a film you've seen, Mad Commodore? I think they should make the court and play it a little smaller so the players can move further around the court. Yes! I feel a bit constrained in there. And the computer won that match again. 
Awesome, I've just done a double fault. God, it's so difficult to get the timing right. I think with practice, I'd be alright. Ah. Time to find my serve. Oh! oh. Aww! That's got to be out. Frick. The computer's starting to return those serves. That was always acing. So the computer's learning and adapting. That's kind of cool. That's a good thing, right? Yeah. Blimey. Okay. So there you go. That was That's really good. That's uh, International Tennis from Zeppelin. And uh, I think this is quite a rare one to find. I'll show you the box art, actually. There you go. Who does that look like? Agassi, maybe? I'm trying to go for an Agassi thing. Oh, I forgot you could have doubles on this. Oh, excuse me. Right, there you go. How do I quit out? I press escape, but it's not. It's just, I think it's just pausing the game. You to quit. Ah. I'll, I'll load it up quickly. Um, those games are okay. Real life tennis is exciting as foot rot. Oh, I don't know. Like so, some good tennis. Oh, they've been. Oh, I don't know. I've seen some really good tennis tennis matches in my time. I used to love playing tennis. Actually, I wasn't bad at tennis. I had like the fa uh, at the club I used to play. I I had the by far the fastest and heaviest serve. Um, and I was kind of proud of that. Single match, grass, easy, medium. Oh no, we want doubles, don't we? Let's have doubles. Doubles. Doubles with computer. I just wanted to see how the doubles played out and then we'll move on. It's like the next. Oh! Okay, let's see how this plays. Right, I'm serving. I think. I Oh, no, I had to select joystick. What's the fire button? Oh. I'm trying all the keys on the keyboard. Nothing's work. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's M. Uh, maybe Q. Uh, uh, oh, it's Q A O P. Yeah, of course it is. Right, my doubles partner's not doing much. All right. Oh, look at this. I'm bottom left there. Or I was. That's pretty good, actually. Doubles is working quite well. Oh, Oh, my partner's rubbish there. Yeah, you can get far over than enough there to knock the ball back. But there you go. Yeah, that's, this is not bad at all. But budget game, that's bloody good. Scores out of 10 for this one. What do you reckon, guys? Um, I'm there. Top left. Oh, I've spooned it. Ah! Oh, I can't play on keyboard like this. All right, I'll try returning the serve, and then I'll be done. <laughs> I pressed the wrong key. I pressed N rather than M. Never mind. Well, there you go. International tennis. For a budget game, that's bloody good. Give it an eight, eight and a half, maybe. Are they albino tennis players? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's done in the uh, mode one, OSG, this one. So it's four colours. So obviously you use the green. We've got green, white black and the purpley blue color there that's all the colors used up basically but we've got some nice animations on the go there because of that because of the smaller pixel size so uh doing some roundabouts 
There you go. International tennis there. I like that. I think my view count has uh, glitched again. Let me just refresh that. There we go. Right. Uh, so we get eight and a half, seven, eight, seven and a half, eight and an eight and a seven and a half. Yeah, pretty good scores there. Pretty good scores there. Right. Um, okay, so that's uh, we got what we got coming up next. We got Neil. Are you still here, Neil? Um, I'll have a look for. Um, was it someone asked for Speed Rumbler? Was that Brian? I think it was Brian. I was asking for LED Storm. Uh, and I got confused what speed rumbler is i don't know actually speed rumbler an actual amstrad game so i can't remember who asked for that um i can't find a game called speed rumbler i think it's the name for the other name for mad gear which is led storm which i'm sure we were talking about with um main haze i think but anyway so there isn't a game called speed rumbler on the amstrad so i presume you're on about led storm let me know if you're still here Neil still here. Cool, cool. We should do Narc shortly. It's not great, Narc. It's not great. All right, I just got to get a um, another drink from the um, kitchen, guys. I will be right back in like thirty seconds or so. I will um, just put the music up for you guys. And after after Neil's request, and I forget who asked for hammer bit. Hammer bit. Uh, we'll take some more requests from the chat. The last like hour and a bit of the stream, I think. So, all right, I'll be right back. Oh, thanks guys. Oh, it's a bit warm in here. From the Ams fridge, indeed, indeed. <laughs> um, right, let's have a look then, ladies and gentlemen, at Narc. Oh god, let's see if I've got the disc for this. Um, I think I've got a cracked version of the game. I think I'll, I'll download the proper disc for this. So bear with me a second. This one's for Neil. The lovely Neil Lovely. Alright. Alright, there's two sides of the disc I need to download. Alright, bear with me 30 seconds. While I download this. Um, let's have a look. That's the, f right, that's the first side of the disc. Face B, just downloading that now. And a capture codes to enter on this bloody website. And there we go. Ba bing downloaded. Nice. Right. Let's get Narc up and running then. 
Uh, oh, it didn't automatically start. Okay, it might be a bar CPM loader. Oh, no, it's just got a custom loader. I just did some beat uh, game testing for Acid Software's original Skid Marks game. Had a beta copy on disc. Oh, that Skid Marks game was really good. There you go. Oh, knock. No one had the guts until now. Yeah. Oh, it's music. Glad I'm not saying the Norbrek after Play Expo of all these comments I've seen. I want to try. I'm going to give it a try, Jimmy, I think. Just to see how bad it is. Just for the experience. Are you a narc? No. <laughs> I like the music here. Manshivel's still here. He's probably going to go, what a slapping ch chip tune. Thank you, Jimmy. I'm going to need it. I might need a priest to, to perform an exorcism in the room first, probably. Nice high score table. I like how it draws in like that. That's cool. Right, let's select the controls. Player one, keyboard. Oh, no. Oh, no, I know what to do. To find the keys. That's the keyboard, right, left, down, up, fire. That's a key for player one, jump and crouch. That. Player two, jump and crouch. Uh, I don't know, D. Pause. Hopefully that should work. Hopefully I'll set it up for two fire buttons. Fingers crossed. Actually, I should have taken a save point there so we could have a mess about the controls to get this working. Hey, Mad Shovel! <laughs> Did you like that chip tune there? Image matches his Das Loft gang member. I mean, this is nicely presented. Oh, look, you get the like, hands typing on the keyboard there. Best in pipeline and hideout. See, this looks really good so far. Nice presentation, uh, graphics, and music. And we haven't even started the game yet, though. But wait and see what it's like. And we get greeted with this. Uh, for some reason, the second uh, second player has joined in, I, I and I don't know why. Oh my god, I remember now. No sound. Horrendously laggy. Uh, and uh, oh my god, this is terrible. I think it's even slower because I somehow activated two player. I and I don't know how that's happened, but hey. Maybe we'll get double the firepower here. Let's put some music on in the background. I think you get more points for arresting the criminals rather than shooting them, but I don't care. I remember the review in Amsterdam Action Magazine fa famously said about the graphics, so poor you feel sorry enough to give him 10p for a cup of tea. Oh. Let's arrest him. There you go. It's utterly garbage. There's not even any sound effects as well. Uh, scrolling's not great. I've seen worse though. We're now in the subway. Right, okay. 
Oh yeah, we have rockets in this as well, don't we? Forget how you use them. Ah, it's okay, Neil. It's your request. What's the chat saying there? This is Ask Candle the Highest Command, says Anna. <laughs> oh, there's the key for this level. Oh no, we get dogs attacking us now. But you don't kill them. They just turn into tiny dogs and run off. They turn into puppies. Less. I mean, it, it's it, it, this is vaguely playable. It's not it's not quite the worst game ever made or anything like that but it is pretty pretty horrible oh i think i just fired a rocket then by accident And there you go, that's the end of the level. What a pile of poop, really. Um, no, you, uh, you aren't giving your... What's this, sorry? Uh, oh, okay, you're probably someone else OSG. Okay. This is 128k only. Is it? No, surely. Um, no, this works on 64k computers, unless uh, CPC power is wrong. Um, slow as molasses, yeah. It does, it, it don't I'll chug along this one. This looks shoddy to worse at best. Yep. Oh, we're running low on bullets, crap. So we'll just arrest people. There is a level where you're driving a car. What mind checking? Get get into that point would be good. But really, for a full price game in 1990, this is dreadful, utterly dreadful. Get the exit there. Oh, we've done the first section there. There we go. Hey, no worries, Neil. You wanted to see. I'm happy to play bad games as well. I bet if you did a side by side comparison in the arcade, apart from Naka it's not that bad. Yeah. Like I said, I don't think it's the worst game I've ever, ever played. Uh, Tall balls like full price. Drive to not end and throw it in the sea. <laughs> Dr. Spike Rush Chemist and Pusher. What's good about driving a car in this game if it goes as quick as the first level? No, it does actually go a lot faster. I don't know how far away I am from getting the uh, car. I can't remember. We'll see if we can get to that point. Uh, it may be the next level. I can't. Rem I can't honestly remember. Oh, th oh, that's these are the guys. The hypodermic needles in the arcade version. Somehow, I use my missile there. I don't know how. Oh, 
Sorry guys, I'm really tired at the moment. Okay, okay. Rest this guy. Rest this guy. Actually, I can't be honest. Let's just shoot them all. The RK was pants too, though. The RK was all right. It, where it went bad for me was like it was designed to be a right coin muncher, like a lot of Eugene Jarvis's later games. But yeah, it, it wasn't up to the same quality as others in the arcade at the time. And Eugene Jarvis has done better in Smash TV and all that, so. Yep, they shoot the hypodermic needles that apparently shooting. You can't really tell in the Amstrad version because the graphics are so poor, but yes. It is indeed hypodermic needles. This is painful to watch. Ah, oh, I think it's after this. I think this is laboratory level, this. Ah, okay, yeah. How do I get that? Oh, I can't, okay. Actually, that rocket uh, we fired there actually killed us both there. Nice, never mind. I think I prefer it to Double Dragon 1, not Double Dragon 3, though. Really, Mod? Yeah, I think. Are you trolling? Uh, yeah, RSG. Sorry, dude. I don't know why I've just come over really, really tired all of a sudden. I didn't get a great amount of sleep today. Uh, I was thinking maybe finishing at one today, but no, I think I'll go on a bit longer. We'll just get to the Porsche level, the driving level, because that's hilarious. And then we'll probably leave things here. Or knock at least, anyway. I've right, got the key, get the frick out of here. There we go. Busting a meth lab, exactly, yeah. I think in the arcade version, there's giant marijuana plants that you have to destroy to fight bonus points and stuff. Eugene Jarvis made the best two uh, arcade games that ever. They went to the dark side. <laughs> Robotron and Defender. Are gonna, uh, I love Blaster from him. That was his third game. Out of him. I think that's incredibly underrated and the, and the best game out of the bunch. Personally, you can't go to bed before me. Okay, OSG. Okay, fair enough. Where's Walter and Jesse? I don't know what you mean. Oh, here's the car. We're gonna jump in. How do I jump? Oh, fire that second fire button and oh. <laughs> The only problem is uh, I can't move very far because I've got the second player there. Oh, I might be able to now. I think he, has he died? No, he's respawned at the top. Can we run over our own player? Yes, we can. Gotta avoid all the obstacles. Oh my god. So the scrolling is atrocious here. So is the control. No I smashed my car. That's why I was trying to be so careful there. Oh no, it spawned the second player in now as well. 
And the, the enemy that headbutts everyone is in now as well. I would get another chance. Jump in the car so we get another chance at the car. No, we just immediately crashed it. You can never see far enough up the stream. Sorry, up the screen to see uh, where there's obstacles that will kill the car. Take that rocket right up close there. So there you go. Oh, there's another car we could take. Okay. Oh, that might have killed me. Ugh, excuse me. Let's run over everyone. Oh no! Oh no, I crashed the car there. Okay, I'm giving up on knock there. It's it's almost okay. It's almost okay, but still pretty dreadful. Ooh. God, I'm really tired, guys. I'm so sorry. All right, let's have a look then. Do we have any other requests? Um, who, who was it requested Hammer, fi Hammer Fist earlier? Are you still here in the chat? We can have a look at that one. Uh, a poor game, even at budget price. Yeah, pretty much. What it copied, sent it back, says Retro and Lim. Hi. <laughs> Welcome back, Retro and Lim, on another break. Yeah, go for it, Texie. Review yourself just for the crack. Yeah. Hey, Jimmy, good night, dude. Uh, have a great weekend as well, mate. Thank you for the dono earlier. Uh, and thank you, says, thank you for another great stream, mate. Uh, take care, pal. I'll see you soon. Top man. Uh, top man as well, too, Jimmy. We'll see you soon, mate. Have a great rest of your weekend. Get a coffee or, uh, coffee or teas, Ifo. Mm. Oh, uh, Re Retro Boston, was it, was it you? I don't drink coffee or tea, but there is an energy drink in the in the kitchen I could get. So retro retro bus, you wanted hammer fist, okay? I tell you what, do we'll do hammer fist next. I think I'm just gonna go and have a little jump, um, go outside, get some fresh air, jump around a bit, and come back so I can stream a bit longer for you guys. Is that all right? Because uh, you know, you know. Any, so tired you're feeling waves of tiredness just come over you and you're just like come on keep it together um i don't have to be up particularly early tomorrow i don't think anyway so uh, good, good night jimmy anyway take care man good night okay i'm gonna take a very very short break give me like one to two minutes tops guys uh put some more requests in the chat let's have some ex fun exciting games and um i'll see what I'll see what they are when they come back but we'll do hammer fist for you two uh retro bust all right okay i will be right back in like one to two minutes okay all right guys thanks thank you for sticking with us
All right, guys and girls, I'm back. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Just had a little, like, jog around the garden to some stretches and stuff. <laughs> Honestly. I'll be, uh, yeah, I'll be gutted if I just had to go to bed, really. I, I really look forward to doing the AM streams and hanging out with you all. So, um, yeah. Um, right, there you go. Old oh, Berserk. Oh, I'm sick of that game. Because you keep having it, oh, that and Frenzy in the Two Plus High Scores Challenge competition, which I'm in. And uh, oh, that game triggers me. Um, I didn't get an energy drink in the end. Dude, I was I never knew you had chronic kidney disease. What? Really? Holy crap, man. Right. Are you, like, gonna, literally going to be okay and stuff? Oh, Mansion was requested Zone Trooper. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'll add that to the list. Does that mean you have to go easy on the alcohol as well, OSG? Uh, your money's down to 30%. I just try not to dwell on it. Blimey. Uh, don't you drink Coke Zero? I have to avoid everything with caffeine, sucralose... Aspartame, and try and minimise the sugar because I'm trying to lose weight as well. But I, 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 those first three things I have to avoid because it apparently might be a trigger for my migraines. Whoa! Hey, tall ball! <laughs> Thank you for the two pounds through the super chat there. Time for some potassium. Bananas in the chat. Let them rain down let's see your nanas get them out for tall pool no osg don't say that don't say that are you serious yeah i don't think you are but uh good lord you take it easy especially at blackpool osg i'll be watching you i'll be like like dad like i put that beer down son <laughs> right okay let's check out her uh, hammer fist although this might actually send me to sleep <laughs> It's okay, this one. I, I don't think... Uh, there's a bit of working out to do on this. Each room has a different way of... Different different thing you have to accomplish, I think. It's okay. I've got this on disc as well. I think I bought it for £2 off eBay. Because, yeah, there was loads of bloody copies of this. Another Bev Dink conversion. Which means it's just an awful specky port, generally. Well, awful, I don't know. But just a straight specky port. Get your nanas out, sounds ominous. Well, that's what we do for kind donators like Tall Paul. Thank you, dude. Good stream, some iffy games, but still lots of fun. Oh, we had some good games earlier on. We did, we did. Uh, I think you missed the brand new Amstrad game we were playing, Tall Paul. Dr. Rowlands, that was very good. CPC Soccer, that was really good. Power Tetris, that was really good as well. Um, Zeppelin's International Tennis, I thought that was really good. Metro, of course, was a decent very accurate arcade conversion if a little bit laggy but um yeah you missed some good games but it's all good it's all good hammer fist ah but highly rated on the specy in the commodore 64 i think um but like it was forgotten about on the amstrad i've got a really sort of cheap quick um port of it from the specy by Mevdink as usual right if i had to start Oh, oh, oh. Alex Ogle. Well, hey, dude. Welcome, Alex. How you doing, dude? This evening, did my excuse note not come through earlier? The 464 Canadian dollars. Um, let me check. Was it a message in the chat? Or was it... Did you do an early dono? Oh, hang on. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Can we see some bananas in the chat for Alex there, of course. Thank you, Alex. Let the bananas rain down for Alex. Alex, let me have a look. Um, tell me what it is you did. Um, b -b 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 excuse note. Uh, I think you put, you, did you post something in the chat like really early in the day? If so, it, after a few hours, it disappears, unfortunately. Someone replied to you, I think, at the start of the stream, but then I, I couldn't see what it was. Tell me more, Alex. Hey, no worries, TP. No worries. 
Uh, check out the new game. It's really good fun. Uh, if, if you don't mind puzzlers. Let me... Uh, right, okay, cool, cool, cool. Where were we? Where were we? Don't look too hard. I commented really early. Yeah, it's it's lost the midst, midst of time now, Alex, I'm afraid. Uh, Hammerfist is outstanding on the Commodore 64. Some of the best Sid tunes on it, too. Check it out on Twitch one day. Oh, okay. Right, how do I... Oh, I remember. You've got to... You have. You can switch between... Oh, up to switch characters. I remember this guy's got the best, like, um, punches and attacks. Whereas, like, the lady, um, she um, she's far more... What? What's going on here? Oh, right. We've got to destroy the pods at the, each of the things at the top of the pods there. Right. Okay. Ah... So you have to do something in each of the rooms. And we've got literally no sound or music here, by the way, OSG. So whatever the, the uh, SID tunes are, it's going to be immediately better than this. So don't we have to... Am I not in the right place to hit this? I don't know. Am I not killing these things? Maybe I, I maybe I have to shoot this thing here. Oh right, okay. That's it. You hold on the fire button and push a direction to. I think that's energy. Right, okay. Uh, I can't really see where your energy meter is. Oh, need you press up to switch between... Oh, hang on. Oh, I remember this now. Oh. All right, she can kick, but it takes a while. So you press up to change between the characters. Oh, God. And I think you have to use her to jump up here, I think. She's still handy. Right. Right, she needs to go further back here. Okay. Right, okay, okay. Spin. <sighs> oh, okay. Well, it's a little bit too far back. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. Right. Hey! Oh, nearly had it then. Nearly had it. About there, but we need to be facing the other direction. No! I don't want to turn it. Oh, God. Oh, sod off. I'm just trying to get the right. See, this ends up being quite a frustrating game. Hey! We did it! Right, and there should be... I think we could go up the lift here. I think. How do we get up here? Uh, anyone know? Or have I got to destroy something? No! We're back to where I started. Oh, God. Oh, 
doesn't work so of course up is to change the characters but I don't know how you get up here there's no sound on this at all it's pathetic isn't it sod off um I don't know. Am I am I supposed to be shooting something to set the lift off? Oh, will you sod off? Oh, I'm trying to turn round on him. It is a frustrating ass game. Oh, they keep spawning. Um, what? Anyone know what I'm supposed to do? Hang on up. Is there anything I'm supposed to destroy here? Oh yeah, there's a gate here. Maybe I'm supposed to destroy that. I don't know. No. Anyone have any ideas? There must be something here to hit. Uh, I need to go for the door in the bottom. How do I... Uh, how do I open it? I don't know. Reset? <laughs> well, then we'll just start again, won't we? Oh, you son of a bitch. Right, too far forward. No, anyone not? Anyone uh, press up at the door as the man? Seriously? Let's get rid of this douchebag first of all. It opens automatically. Oh! And how do we go in it? How do we go in the door? Anyone? Oh my god, this game. Maybe reload another game. Well, yeah. We're going to move on shortly, but. Maybe go through as her? You just go in on the Commodore 64 version. With what key? Oh, God. This is painful. Oh. Space. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ah! Bloody hell. I press the space bar. And that seems to make you face the wall. Oh, will you? Oh, ah, this 
game. How do I walk in a door? I mean, how hard is it to do? No, I don't want to go there. I just want to go in the door. Please, the... Oh, this bloody game. Right. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, Mad Shovel. <laughs> I apologise. I just want to walk into a door. I mean, how hard is it in a game? Right, I'm looking at the instructions. Screw this. And then, and then we're giving up on this one. Right. What's this called? Hammer. Hammer fist. Did you try pressing down? I did. I will try again just in case. Down. 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 Space and down. No. I tried down and left. Down and right. Because this is system free. And that has different... It must be a separate key or something stupid like that. Right, let's have a look. Have I got the manual here for Hammer Fist? I found, the, found, the, found it on the CPC power side. Or facing up, press fire. Maybe it's spaced and fire. Hang on, let me try that. Oh, God. I think the lady's died now, actually. Space, fire. Oh, look at that. Oh, so. Oh, what a freaking weird control scheme. Right. Right. You have to press the space bar and it faces your character to the wall. Firing down does a headbutt move. And then firing up. Pushes you, makes you go through the door. But you've got to hold down the fire button and then push off, push up and hold it, and then you'll go through. Good lord. Oh. Um. What? Well, while well, facing up, press fire. So he was close, so we needed the space bar press to face your character against the wall, then hold down the fire button, then press up. Cheers, uh, it's G for looking at that. Yeah. Well, the last game I requested gave Zypher a migraine now this. I can stop requesting games. I don't know. There is something interesting to this game. that I like that, that there's a puzzle in every room, if I remember correctly. Like this one. I think you have to destroy all the creatures. Uh, but I think... Like, you have to get rid of this monster here, I think. If I remember correctly. Oh, we can turn into her. Okay, she's got very low energy, though. Oh, he's not hes not shooting out his fireballs. So, he's really low on energy or something. I don't know. Okay. That seems to be hurting me. So what the frick do I do now? Has anyone commented that it's Vladimir Putin in green at the top there? Yes, it is! Well spotted. Well spotted. Hey, Talonscave! Hey, good to see you, dude. Welcome. Sorry I missed you there in the back there. Welcome. How's tricks, man? It's really, really good to see you again, dude. I hope you're keeping well. So I'm hoping to, uh, to smash these flying object thingies. And they'll drop power-ups so I can get my laser thing back. That's, that's what I was hoping anyway. Oh, missed it by a split second there. <laughs> Welcome, Talon. How have you been, my friend? It's good to see you again, dude. And thank you for your continued support. Yeah, it does really look like Putin at the top there. Right, no, nothing's happening here. Let's try as her. Oh, 
Maybe she could jump it. Ow, that's hurting. No. Uh, we can't get passes. I think you have to have like your special like shooty thing that comes out your fists. I mean, we could keep trying to punch this, but it doesn't seem to be happening. So I think we've got to destroy one of these droids at the top here so it drops uh, some of the power-ups. Oh. This is painful. Hey, all the love back to you too, man, Talon. I'm glad to hear that you're doing okay, dude. Anything new to tell me? Anna says, why is this? I know. I think what you're going to do is destroy the... Hey! Hey, 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 hey! Awesome. Oh, game over. Ha! Well, there you go. That's Hammer Fist. Right, so it's janky as all hell. I like the concept. Um, you've got to switch between two characters. You've got a man and a woman. The woman could do like flips and get jump and get higher. The man has like the Hammer Fist, I guess. Or the power up. Um, uh, and each each room, there's a task you have to do in each room. From what, from what I remember. So on that room, you had to take out each of the um, uh, the monsters, bits of the monster there. Hey, Andrea, welcome. You're awake, what's up? Where have you been all evening, Andrea? What have you been up to? Tune in at 1.25 in the morning, along with Talon, just joining in as well. Uh, the man that can flip up to the next level, you know. I tried that, but I think we've got to get rid of bits of the beast before we can do that, OSG. She was just bouncing off. The thing to the left and the thing to the right. There's nowhere to go. How you doing, Andrea? Nice to see you. Yes, Talon, we still have the turtles command for you. <laughs> I forgot about that, actually. Right, so that was fam Hammer Fist, and we're moving on from that. <laughs> it's got potential, that, but not great. Um, uh, Man Shovel requested Zone Trooper. I think I've played this before. And I think not too long ago, actually. Oh, crack throw. Ooh. Oh, I think Yellow Belly had this on his hidden gems. I think we had a look at this as well. I think this was all right. This, I can't remember much about it. Oh, it's music. Oh, let me pause mine. Welcome, Zone Trooper. Get the man to fire up and the ricochet his bullets to clear the way. Yes, they bounce off the walls and stuff, yeah. Yeah, this is called Zone Trooper OJBs. Sleeping most of the evening, I'm awake now. Oh god, does that mean you're going to be awake most of the night now? I'm just going to sleep tomorrow when all the kids are up and stuff. Yeah, we love Miami Cobra GT, Bad Commodore. That's a great driving game. It is, and a budget one as well. Oh, is this the one you tested for Yellow Belly, Anna? Nice. Yeah, for Yellow Belly stream. Yep, yep, yep. I right, press fire to play. Let's get into it. Oh, hold on. Hey! Talonscape with the 464 there. Thank you, dude. Talon. Oh, bless you, mate. Bananas in the chat for Talon. Oh, just cause. Just cause. Oh, thank you, mate. Actually, no, exclamation mark turtles. He likes his turtles. We had to create that last time. Uh, well, a while ago, actually, for you. Exclamation mark turtles in the chat. Let the bananas, all the turtles, rain down in the chat there for Talon. Thank you, mate, for the magical 464 there. 
Oh, sorry to hear about your sleep schedule, Andrea. Oh, I hope you get getting back in sync soon. Have you been up to anything interesting, Andrea, anyway? Oh, thank you guys for the bananas and turtles there for Talon. Talon, thank you, my friend. Always welcome back here whenever you want. Talon, do you have a game request? Seeing we haven't seen you for a long time. We can do it next after Zone Trooper. Okay. Oh, God, my power is always constantly draining. You have... You have a weapon pack, okay. Just go, 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 go. What's this green thing? Okay. Oh, that green thing turned to red. I have no idea what's going on here. Oh, when power comes back, if you stay still. Right, okay. Air supply. Air supply is going, getting low. Oh, crap. Where do I go, guys? Is your character flying on a bog? <laughs> oh, nice game over sequence there, actually. In the graveyard. There you go. Does he look like I'm on a flying toilet? <laughs> nice. Uh, no, nothing interesting for you. Oh, okay, Andrew. No worries. Sometimes that's a good thing. Nothing, cra too, nothing too crazy is happening. Happening. So where the frick do I go? And I can't shoot. Oh, I can shoot that. Weapon pack. Oh. I have a circuit jammer. Oh, I picked up a circuit jammer and pressed fire and down and got here. Uh, sh on board computer, the ship's... Six plasma uh, expansion limiters have been damaged by impact. Basement limiters must be here. Uh, they can make cause an explosion. So we're about collecting things, I think. Oh, we don't have a weapon now, right? You have a weapon pack. Oh, with a weapon, we can shoot. Oh, God, enemies respawn. Oh, that drains energy. Oh, I was watching what was happening there. Oh, we could go up here. I didn't realize you could. Oh, my. Take the air capsule. Water revives you. Please sod off. Oh. You, uh, you enjoy the food. Okay. It's a collect em up, shoot em up. You have an old power pack. Oh! So I think we now have to take the power pack back to the ship. Oh, there's like an area there. Right, okay. Oh, I've got no power left. Crap. My power meter's in the bottom right court, bottom right box there. Mansion will like the chip tune earlier. Cool. Sounds like Depeche mode. Right. 
Now we've got a bit of power. Try and get out of here. We've been using our jetpack too much, basically. Oh, I ran out of air and died. Cool, excuse me. I actually got the score table there. Graphics remind me of early Ronin games and sorcery before graphics artists learned how to work with 60 colors effectively. I know what you mean by that. I know what you mean. The graphics are a bit blocky and basic, but lots of colors, basically, yes, yeah. Uh, Talon, did you have a game request, dude? And Mansion, well, why did you request this one, just like the sound of the name or something, or had you been playing it yourself? It's not bad, not bad this one. You got flush sci-fi. Does it look like I'm on a toilet? I'm trying to enter my name and it won't let me. I can't get off this um, high score entry, unfortunately. No request, fella. All good. Okay. Now it just looked interesting. Yeah, well, there you go. Right. Okay. That was Zone Trooper there. It's going to be a game that you're going to have to explore quite a bit. And, you know. Hmm. You know, I, I'm kind of intrigued by Hammer Fist again. I mean, I, I made a right cock up of it. Let's have a look. Quick, I'm gonna have a quick look at Hammer Fist just one last time. Unless anyone's got a um, a, a, a request they're desperate for. Let's give this another go. There'll be players that. Uh, Play as this guy here, he escapes out, you destroy the things. There you go. Okay. Always collect all the energy bits. Right, okay. Here. What? Wait. Right, and then shoot this. This should now allow me through. Oh, oh no! Bad robot there. Right, so what is it here? That allows us to open this gate. Because if I walk past it. Was there a switch I accidentally hit here somewhere? Maybe I just needed to get the lady up there once. And then come back down again. I don't know. Uh, flip sakes. Does it open? No. Okay. If this takes too long to do, I'm just moving on anyway. So... Oh, Alright, let me just pause up there. Is that TP off there? Oh, Captain Zong, Captain Trueno. Oh, I think that's the one we uh, played through. Hang on. Um, I'll just try it. 
Oh, Captain Tirreno, uh, Tazar, we did like a full, uh, oh god, we played that on the Amstream uh, a few weeks back. And then we did a full playthrough of it on Twitch as well recently. It's going to be a, a new long play and review video soon, actually. So um, that's um, that's coming soon. So I'm not going to do it tonight because uh, most of us have seen it uh, quite a bit. Um, uh, hey, Tall Paul, TP says, funny much on the end, but I've got work in the morning. So bye all. Hope the next week gives you the best. Hey, TP, take care, dude, and good night, mate. Have a great weekend. Amethyst is great, she's got a steep learning curve. So, OSG, what am I missing in this room? Uh, that doesn't... That... What do I... Maybe, is it a switch there? Try with this guy. Oh, sod off. Right, got him. Oh my god. Or is it just, do you have to just kill a certain number of enemies here? Is that it? Oh god, let's get out of here. Let's try it now. I can't see what if there's anything else to actually hit in this room. on controls could be a bit laggy here as well no the gate's not opening uh yeah okay getting deja vu <laughs> me too so what do i need to do in this room to get the gates open You know what? Pause it there. I'm going to look and see if there's a walkthrough. Unless someone in the chat has said. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, Mr. Brian O'Higgins. How you doing, mate? Thanks for watching Army of the, uh, Army of the Dead of the Misses. Great stuff. Yeah, it was a good fun movie, that. It was a good fun movie. Super Edge Grinder, you always want me to do that man show. Well, maybe at the end. Maybe at the end. Um, is the red guy in the middle Stalin? It could be. We've got uh, we've got Putin, Stalin. And there's uh, I don't know who that would be on the left then. There's a lady. No, don't say Margaret Thatcher. Is that a switch on top left? I mean, I'm wondering. Is that a switch? That's what I'm thinking. Or, or do you mean that red thing there? I think that indicates which play you're on or something. I don't know. Hey again, Retro on Lim. Right, I'm going to see if there's a walkthrough for this. I've got a Spanish walkthrough. That's not helpful, because uh, it's all in Spanish. All right, I'll show you what I'm looking at. Oh, hang on, hang on. Retro Loom says, break TV at right, the computer above. This one here. Have we broken it? Let's just collect those items quickly. I can't I can't seem to hit it with anything though. Is it broken or not? Oh hang on. Maybe I could headbutt it. Oh, hello. We had to headbutt the telly. 
But we didn't do that before, and the gate eventually opened for us. There you go. You gotta be the man face up. Right, this is destroyed bits of this. There you go, look at that. Part of it has been destroyed now. Ah, oh, okay. Now we're making progress. Uh, do I don't I have to destroy these plants? Hang on. That thing have to be destroyed. I don't know. Oh. Maybe she can destroy it with her feet. Who knows? So we're making headway now in Dean Maud, yeah. It's not, this is not the greatest game in the world, but I'm starting to get intrigued by it, as you can tell. This, this isn't working, is it? I think I'm doing damage to it. How streaks, Brian, anyway? Why is this game to get banned for encouraging kids to headbutt doors in order to get through for them? Right, that... that Nothing's happening there. Uh, I can't hit that thing with any other weapon. No, not here. I'm getting hurt from that thing. I don't know. I, I don't know what to do now, lads. Any idea, um, OSG, what to do next? Or Retro on Limb? Retro on Limb seems to be the expert on the... Oh! It's finally destroyed! That took enough bloody time. Probably ought to destroy this thing. Hey, there we go. Uh, we'll press up and us. Okay. My, I'm too far back there, aren't I? Oh, sorry. <gasps> yes! No! Oh, God. Right, we're close to it. Okay, close... God, I think that thing got in the way there. Uh, all good is, I love a bit of Hammer Fist. Right, it's a great little game. Oh, so you're familiar with this one. Maybe you can help us out here. We're getting stuck in some places. Oh. No, I didn't want to jump there. Oh, the controls are so janky as well. 
Oh, do you have to be in exactly the right place to do this? finally made it. Will this door open for us? The door won't open. Amazing. So we've got to do something else in this room and I don't know what. Oh, I just had to punch it. Hey! There we go. Finally moved to another room. God damn. Right, okay. A quick look in this room. I don't think there's much to see here. A lot of door up there. Maybe we have to headbutt it. So you have to press space bar, fight and down. Smash that. Smash that computer. Uh, is this a new dance move you're practicing in the game, iPhone? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Uh, your can hats a glitch that you should be able to get up there without destroying that. Huh? Okay. Probably get her to jump up the top there, the lady. Uh, also, this guy is completely out of um, uh, like an energy anyway, I think. Right. Okay. We'll go up here. No, I don't want to. I don't want this guy. Right. <laughs> no idea what's happening in this game. Uh, me neither, but there's various ta- oh god, there's various tasks you have to do in each room. And it's just a matter of figuring them out. Hey, there we go. Uh, I don't know what else to do in this room. It looks like we've done everything, haven't we? Where do we go now? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm a tinsy. Oh, for God's sake, they respawn right away. And the door's not opening. Maybe I have to backtrack somewhere. I don't know. Does Metronome says go through door? Oh, is that a door at the top left there? Oh, crap, really? Uh, face the door. Uh, the door's not open. Go on, kick him. Oh, you have to headbutt the door to open it, and then then you go through. Right, so you have to smash the computer there, and then headbutt the door. And that would send you through. Right. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this game is intriguing me more and more. Despite it being a, quite a bit clunky. Oh, we can't go any further that way. I'm just getting killed by the thing there. Right. Okay, 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 okay. I often headbutt doors, right. And Retro Libby did say headbutt that. Yeah, thank you. Um, right, 
Uh, where do we go from here, Retro Nim? There's no exit to the right. I noticed the gap in the um, barriers there, but I can't seem to get through it. Hmm. Unless I've missed something. Where do I go next, Retro Nim? If in doubt, a headbutt. Yeah. I don't even spot that might have been a door. Oh, God, I'm getting wrecked here. Oh! Uh, back for the door. Go to right wall and hit it. Why would you... Why would you want to go... Back for the door you just came in? I don't get that. Go to the right wall and hit it. Okay. Right, okay, okay. Come on, just die, you little git. Maybe hit it as the other character. Come on! Oh, God, guys. Sorry, I just felt myself, like, doze. Oh, my God. I felt my eyes go in there a little bit. <laughs> I'm so tired. Right, apparently I've got to punch this door. But it ain't working, Retro and Lim. So what do I do next there? Um. Hey, is OSG off? Hey, good night, OSG. Take care, man. God, this game is actually pretty boring, unfortunately. It's interesting. And the guy's dead, actually. Try kicking it. Oh! So you have to kick it as the lady. So the punch it the man punching it doesn't work, but the lady kicking it does. Okay, now we're getting attacked by balloons. Okay. And game over. Right, okay. Oh, God. Uh, that would have been so bad, actually, guys. Falling asleep literally on the stream. I think I probably, probably should call it there. Oh, I don't know why I'm so tired, guys. Woo! Okay. But for those of you wanting to rock and party on, um, there is, the, of course, the after party in the Discord to look, take care of you all as well. Where's my... Uh... Yeah, okay. Um, so for those of you still wide awake, I'm looking at you, Andrew, probably... <laughs> um we've got the discord and the after party good lord sorry guys there holy poop i really was nodding off there i just felt myself go then went oh did you see it did anyone see that i don't know i don't know <laughs> right yeah get into bed hang on let's pause the uh let's pause the music there and go into our outro <laughs> There we go. Yeah, guys, I don't know why I'm so tired today. Uh, I, I think that I think it's been a busy week and it just all hit me. There's a lot of stress this week, actually. But it's all good. It's all good. You, don't, you don't need to worry about me. Maybe it's just all caught me. Anyway, good luck, um, England and England fans for Sunday. I'll be watching, of course. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, well, we predicted the I two one or three two to England in our football match earlier this evening on the stream. England beat Italy both times. Uh, Dr. Rowland was bloody good as well. Great new game, great new product. And uh, I really, really enjoyed checking it out. Even though I was pretty terrible at taking most of it. Um, I'm just getting the cluster on that when it only all starts going wrong. <laughs> I think with like Dr. Rowland, it's like Tetris one move and you, you, you just screw yourself up completely. Uh, anyway, thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. Thank you everyone for the very kind donos and stuff like that. Thank you to Talonscave 
Alex Ogle, Tall Paul, Lewis Waddle, Manuel Schultz, Mike CT, Craig Bar, uh, Manuel Schultz, and more really are actually GB Taylor, GP, Gunblade Lad, Alex Luck, and I think GP almost as I thought will start this week. Very, very kind. Hey, Ma Hayes Maker! Oh, dude, I'm just finishing. Like, I'm literally. Oh, I'm, I actually literally dozed off on stream just, just for a brief second. You know when you just go. Uh, like that. That, that, that just happened to me. So, um, oh, and Man Shovel as well. What a dude, bro. Um, how you doing, Hayes? Have you just finished? Have you just finished your stream? Um, you know, like doing like a, a base raid or anything like that, sending people over here. I'll carry on if no people are coming in. But like, uh, the Manta. Yes, you're late. I'm, I'm just finishing up. Thank you. Um, thank you though. Um, it's two in the morning, so I've got to call it. Oh, goodness, Alex! Hang on, hang on. Well, uh, I tell you what. Hang on. Oh, why is my music stopped? Hang on. Alex! Hang on, hang on. Oh, God, Streamlabs. There we go! Alex Ogle, thank you for the 664 Canadian dollars there. That's what I'm looking forward to, do some Zypho narcolepsy on stream. <laughs> Alex, thank you very, very, very much. You can have a Dancing Lord. You have a couple of Dancing Lords. Actually, no. Have three Dancing Lords sugars for your 664 Canadian dollars. Let the bananas rain down in the chart. Please provide some potassium to Alex there. Bananas. There you go. Um, I tell you what, for Demanta and Hayes Maker, I will I will briefly show them the new Amstrad game. I know Hayes will be interested in this. Go on then. Oh, why the things I do for you guys? Um, but Alex, thank you, man. What a legend. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Let me have a quick swig of water. Oh, yeah, this music was driving everyone insane, though. So, uh, hey, this is the new Amstrad game we started the stream with. And Demanta. And uh, it's a conversion or unofficial clone of Dr. Mario. The only thing I'm, I think a lot of us are not impressed with is maybe the music and it gets on people's nerves. Otherwise, it's bloody good. Uh, my only complaint was like the controls are a little bit oversensitive at times. There you go. But if, if you've played Dr. Mario before, Hayes or Demanta, uh, you'll know this is pretty pretty spot on actually. There we go. Oh, actually, we need to sneak this one round here, don't we? Ah! Oh! <laughs> hmm. There you go. There you go. That's all right. We're good. We're all good. Ah. Oh. Right, we'll get rid of that one. We'll get rid of that one. Uh. And we'll just build this one up like here. There you go. Bing. Easy peasy. But yeah, other than the controls being a little bit oversensitive, it just needs a tiny, just a little bit, tiny little bit of lag. There you go. Oh, um, you missed this earlier as well, Neil. So those, for those of you that missed it earlier, there you go. Uh, I'm not an expert on Dr. Mario. I've only played it briefly, like uh, a long, long time ago. And um, but I'm, I'm told by people who have played uh, Dr. Mario, this is very good and very, very close uh, to, yeah. Right, we'll pop you there. Yeah, control, see, see there? That's the controls being way oversensitive. Oh, crap. Right, we'll get rid of that. Need to get rid. Oh, oh, oh. I need to get rid of all that, and we'll get rid of that. There you go. I'm 
can start again. So yeah, Neil as well. This was the new Amstrad game. Uh, have you have you got the link to download it now, Neil? Uh, Neil. Uh, oh. We need a double red to go down there. Put you there. So I'm not very good at this game, as you can tell. I'm just sort of playing it quite casually. Okay, we got rid of one there. Go there. You go there. You go there. Right, we've got the red ones to get rid of. Okay, cool. There you go. Boom. Oh no, what I'm doing. Oh, because we need to get rid of that red one there, don't we? So we've got a room to get the blue on. Put the red down here. There you go. I think I'll uh, call it after this level, by the way, guys. Hang on, what am I doing? Actually, no, it's okay. Oss! Oh, Oh, I've made a right arse up of this now. Yeah, well, I've, I've screwed it up, but you guys get the idea. Oh, I needed... I, I didn't want to do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I've screwed it up there. But, like, uh, yeah, it's cool. It's pretty close. Um, I like the animation there, and Doctor 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 Roland, and the patient is dead, unfortunately. So there you go. Right. Actually, I won't, I won't leave it on that screen. Let's pause up there. The music is for people's wicks, though. That's the only thing. Still going. I was about to finish. I'm about to finish. Yes. Exclamation mark. Doctor Roland in the chat will give you the link for the game. Um. Everyone knows Doctor Mario. I hope they fix the controls. I mean, the controls are fine, but like, if you're trying to do a quick, uh, you got a load of pills and you're trying to get one underneath and then you've got to turn it round. It, it's so oversensitive. But it's still playable. It's still very playable. Holy poop! Oh my god, I've just seen what's coming in the chat there. I'm just waiting for the Streamlabs alert to come through. Um, and red rolling, god damn it. Um,. Hey Robin, how you doing man as well? We're going to be finishing in a second, but Demanta! Oh! Demanta! Oh my god! The 10 euros! Through the super chat! Demanta, you really didn't have to. I'm about to finish. You've only just come in. Holy crap. We'll give you loads of dancing sugars for that. You can have the fireworks. And can we have lots of bananas in the chat? But the Manta coming in, dropping the 10 euros there. Holy crap. Thank you, Demanta. Thank you very, very, very much. 10 euros equals another game. <laughs> Not my cup of tea, but have a tenner anyways. Oh, bless you. Um, Demanta, do you want, do you, have you got a request quickly? I'll play it for like two minutes, and then, and then I've got to finish. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about the Cobra Command. Dang my poons. Demanta, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I will. Uh, if you've got a game of your choosing, I will play it very quickly for like two minutes for that. But I've got to get going to bed soon. <laughs> I'll watch the full dream replay tomorrow. Okay, as long as you're sure. As long as you're sure. I don't think he's got another in him. I know. I was like falling asleep on stream. That's so bad. Right. Um... Right, where are we going? The outro. Oh no, we've gone in the AMS top. I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to go back in the AMS tub. Get back down there, Alan. Why is Lewis in there? Right, let's get out the AMS top. I meant to go to the outro, sorry. <laughs> Tell I'm tired. Oh my God. Right, okay. Thank you everyone for tuning in tonight. 
Um, and thank you for everyone for all the, do uh, the donos and stuff. Uh, I might not have a new Amstrad video ready for this week coming. Uh, I'm going to try and um, ramp them up and maybe get two or three out. Oh! Oh god, the music was clashing there as well. Sorry. Oh, I am tired. I'm tired. I had two tracks of music playing there. Oh. Ah, we'll start that again. Anyway, so, uh, cheers everyone. <laughs> Next time, I will try to get, I'll try and get to bed early on a Friday morning and uh, get a good, good day sleeping for me. I bet it's my last, last night of the night shift and I'm, I'm, I'm now I'm on weekend and it's, body clock gets all screwed up anyway. Uh, thank you to Manta, thank you. Thank you Matt Myers, Retro on Lim, Alex Ogle. Um, Hayes baked up his sugar lol. Damn, I wish we could have emotes on the YouTube streams. Actually, you can on memberships, can't you? But I, I don't know. I don't want to enable that. Cost money to people and people do enough already. Um, right. Um, is anyone streaming online at the moment? We can go and sort of. Well, you can't really raid on YouTube, but uh, I can post a link and go. Let's all go in there, stream and go. Well, no one I know is streaming on YouTube. Hardly anyone does. Uh, Twitch, let's have a look. Is anyone Twitch streaming? Did you raid anyone, Hayes? And how was your stream? Because you, you were streaming this evening, weren't you? Uh, big Secure Bjorn's on. If you want a stream to go into to chill, you could do a lot worse than check out Secure Bjorn. So I'm going to post a link to his Twitch stream in the chat. So if you do go in there, say Zypho sent you, I think he's doing. He's doing some MS DOS gaming. There you go. So if you want to stream to go into, go and pop in Secure Bjorn. He's a very supportive uh, man as well. And uh, pops in my streams a lot and raids and all that. Anyway, take care, everyone. Have a great weekend. Um, watch, watch the tomorrow war. It's actually. Didn't that film get like terrible reviews, Retro and Liam? Um, not sure whether to trust you or not. Is it just cheesy popcorn fun and to switch your brain off, you'll enjoy it type thing? If so, I might, I may well do that. I may well do that. Um, no, it's political. Tomorrow, what? What's that one with um? What's his face from um, Jurassic World? Going around blasting aliens. I thought that was. Maybe I'm getting my movies mixed up. I apologise. I apologise. Mors, there you are in the chat as well. <laughs> Take care, dude. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot. I don't think I've got anything else to mention. Uh, um, I might not have a Patreon video for Sunday because, like, we've got all later on. I've got family things to organise and all that kind of stuff. Henry, I didn't know you were here tonight. If I, if you said hello in the chat earlier, I apologise if I missed you, Henry. But Henry Medot, good night to you too, mate. Um. See you, bro, next week. Oh, to be early. No worries, demand. So thank you again for the um, dino and stuff. Right, I'm waffling on. Um, let's see. Okay, if you go to Secure Beyond Stream, make sure you say uh, Zypho sent, sent you and all that. And I'll see you all again very soon. Good luck, England, on Sunday. I'll be watching and cheering them on. And, uh, yeah. Okay, um, that's it, I think. Have a great weekend, everyone. And uh, is anyone in Discord? Oh, that's a good point as well. After party in the Discord, exclamation mark Discord if you need uh, an invite link on the Discord. Um, and then go, go into the general chit chat, voice chat channel to have a bit of an after party. Many of you do. If one of you gets in there now, you might encourage someone else to join in. I think Andrea's probably wide awake anyway. Anyway, right, yeah, so I better get going, guys. I'm waffling on. Take care, everyone. Have a, a great weekend. And I'll, I'll be around in Discord anyway, just uh, as I shut down things. And I'll see you all very soon. All right. Take care. Good night. Bye.